Hello and welcome everybody to the AG Weekly number 32. I am Storm and as always I do have a guest with me today. That is going to be Zeromus from Looking Like a Cutie. I actually didn't play on that team yesterday, but glad to have him here for the first time. Going to have some, uh, definitely some analysis on this double Mesmer play we've got in our first set today. How are you doing? What's going on, guys? What's going on, Storm? Excited to have you here, as always. Uh, you know, having a guest on is nice, especially when it's someone who can relate to top-tier play. Um, but take a look at our first matchup. Actually, before I get to that, as always, I have some announcements. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on YouTube, you can find that link below. As always, I do upload the ESL Weekly and AG Weeklies to that YouTube page. So definitely give me a sub down below. I could really use it trying to get an actual URL rather than the random letters and numbers that you get until you have like 500 subs or something like that. Um, as always, we have a giveaway as well that's going to be a skin. Not sure what it's going to be. It'll be between probably around 100 gold. Um, and for those of you that are here the first time, as always, if you want to... Sign up for the AG tournament. You can do so over at battlefy.com slash academy hyphen gaming. Other than that, taking a look at our first matchup, it's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, it's best team North Africa, who we saw yesterday in the ESL, almost take down Radioactive in the semifinal matchup. And we've got Sharks with Lasers, a team who I, I know they're featuring Moobs, who's back after, uh, I don't know if he's back for good, but he's playing. He hasn't played a long time, so of course, I mean, he's allowed. Uh, today they got Laser Lord. I know he used to be on Sharks with Lasers. I'm not sure about Lord Earl. I think he must have been if he's got Lord in his name. I'm not sure why anyone else would want Lord in their name if, uh, I, if it's associated with. I don't, think, I don't with... think Lord Earl was on it. It wasn't. Okay. I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay. Well, they got some person as well. But take a look at uh, Best Team North Africa. They've got some players who we saw yesterday, and I mean, you know, you can't say Radioactive isn't a a good team in ESL. They might not be the best, but you know. They almost took him down. They put up 350 on him. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Oops, that's the wrong screen. There we go. Let's take a look at what we've got. For both of these teams, we've got this red team that is going to be uh, best team North Africa. What do we got going on here, Zeromas? All right, so taking a look at Ahmed's build. He's running uh, Domination, Dueling Chaos. This is actually just standard PU. He's actually running almost exactly similar to what I built, uh, what I run with the Vamp and Berserker amulet. The only difference is that he's running uh, air and fire as opposed to like air and energy or blood and energy. So that that might not be too much of a problem, especially since the PU can like cover that time that you don't have that uh, endurance. But uh, taking a look at Almighty, he's running... Okay, so I've actually never seen this in top tier PvP. This is like kind of a new thing that I've been seeing. Uh, he's actually dropped dueling. Picked up PU and picked up Inspiration as well. He's running Power Spike and the uh, and the Mantra of Recovery as well as Portal and, and Blink. Now, like I, I don't know if this is better than than taking Mantra of Distraction. I mean, I guess the sustain is a little bit more because the Mantra of Pain is always up and the damage is kind of always there. But I feel like the lockdown that he that he drops when he doesn't take Mantra of Distra uh, Distraction. Uh, isn't going to be able to secure the damage that he wants. And he's also not running Domination, so he doesn't have power um, or mental anguish. So the damage overall might be a little bit less, but I mean, maybe he can prove me wrong. I'm kind of excited to see. He's running Sword Torch and Greatsword, uh, running Air and Fire. Actually, he's running Air and Fire on both weapons, so that's like, that's really man mood. I got no energy at all, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, taking a look at Diablo Sins, he's running, uh, he's running Zerker Warrior. Uh, I don't know too much about the uh, trade lines. Running Strength, Defense, and Discipline. Running Great Sword, Hammer, and he's actually running Intel on on his Hammer. So it's gonna, it's gonna make him able to get those Suns off a lot quicker, especially after like he Earthshakers, he's gonna get that Haste proc. 
Um, he's running Rampage. That's probably going to be like the biggest thing to look out for uh, in the game. And just bringing a lot of damage, a lot of cleave. you got to really watch out for this. Um, he was always bring a Tau. He's running Standard, Selly Eli, I believe. He's running Energy and Leeching, uh, Holbrack, Selly, and Fire, Water, and Arcane. And Honorless Prince running the exact same thing. Yeah, definitely so. Uh, you know, you mentioned the PU. We had saw... I mean, we've seen PU actually from a couple of Mesmers yesterday in the ESL uh, Old Run in Ipno. I believe they they brought that out. I don't know about that Mantra of Pain. I'm not a huge fan of it with my limited Mesmer play or just watching it as a whole. <laughs> it's probably, I don't I don't like it because you don't have that lockdown. Like you said, landing that Mantra of Distraction, I mean, especially when running Zerk, it's just, it's so deadly. You can get 100 owed if you're not <laughs> paying attention. So I'm not the biggest fan of that, but... Regardless, that is what he's going to be taking. Uh, I do want to point out, someone did say this, the two Storms are casting, but I am the original Storm. So No, I uh, am the original Storm, actually. <laughs> actually, for all the fans, he's Myla Storm, and my account name is Storm. So I think I am the real Storm, but I'll let him have it. Uh, I want to point out one thing about this red team. Achmed, Afro, Thunder, for those of you who remember Ace Abzerg back in, uh, like, many, many weeks ago for AG, he was on Ace Abzerg. Uh, he was one of their better players I think they always finish top four in AG so uh, excited to see him back he said ASAP Zerg might be back it would be nice to see them uh, back in this tournament so uh, take a look over at the blue team though that would be sharks with lasers uh, take a look at some person running DD with vamp interested to see vamp on the DD Ellie uh, definitely not something we always see he's gonna be running fire arcane and water nothing special about his billboard Earl gonna be running Something very si no, he's running Staff Ellie actually with Strength through and Cell. He's going to be running Fire, Arcane, and Water. No Earth for himself actually, um, which is interesting because usually we see that role kind of taken on as a bunker Ellie. But without that Earth, he's not as much of a bunker. Taking Signet of Earth as well rather than Triple Cantrip. Now Moobs, someone we haven't seen in a while. He's going to be running Mediguard with that sword, Focus with the Great Sword Packers Marauder. Um, not sure why he's not taking Shelter. He's running the Meditation Heal. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out for him. And Delirium running me uh, the Necro for this team, running Triple Selly, Signet, nothing too crazy about his build. And finally, Lord running Vamp Rune DP Thief with uh, Crit Strikes uh, rather oh. than Shadow Arts. Now, I, I, used to, I used to like Crit Strikes more in Shadow Arts, but after changing to it, I definitely like Shadow Arts better. Uh, crit Strikes kind of running a, run a little bit of a Cade, Cade build here. A little man mode. Yeah, yeah definitely so. Uh, but looking at these two teams, what what are your thoughts on who's going to be taking this one? Hmm, that's that's a tough one. I think that if if Red Team can capitalize on their two mesmers and their portals and the amount of damage potential they have, I th and they actually rotate their Ellie's well and use the portals to evacuate them whenever they're in trouble. I think that they'll they'll have the advantage. But at the same time, like Boobs and Lord. They got, they're going to be hunting the DPS too, so it's going to be pretty tough. And they have two LEs too, so I'm, I'm pretty... I'm not sure. Like, we'll see. Yeah, I'm actually probably going to put my money on this uh, this red team. Blue team, they, they had a member, Moobs was late to the first game, and they were playing 4v5, and they started to win. When Moobs came back, they were actually starting to lose. They got triple cap, uh, but still... <laughs> They did win two over, uh, two two zero, excuse me, over. It's over is the team name, uh, but they were still close games, uh, which kind of puts a little bit of doubt into me that they're going to be able to take this matchup against best team, uh, North Africa, um, who, I mean, they're not amazing, an amazing team by any means, but they have definitely done well in AG tournaments in the past. So excited to see how they're going to do here. Just waiting on one member now to ready up to get this game underway. There we have it. What I'd like to see is best team North Africa up against the best team South soon. Africa because that is a team that is playing this tournament on the other side of the bracket too. Uh, so that's <laughs> kind of like the radioactive, radioactive thing that we had uh, yesterday. Uh, but take a look at what we've got for opening splits as we get this game number one underway. It looks like we're going to be seeing blue team send a couple crossers. Hold it's going to be sharks with lasers going out in stealth here. Look to play three point, but some person is actually going to be, oh, excuse me, honorless prince going to be going for that hench point. So they're all playing three point Spawn splits here. Uh, I kind of <laughs> like this coming out from the blue team. Send two people over to that my point. Yeah, it looks like Almighty left his portal uh, by there. I believe it's a two-on-two. Two. Is that a two-on-two on, two on mine right now? Yeah, 
It yeah, looks like Diablo right already now. pretty low. Yeah, I mean, right now... Right now, this is good for the red team because Almighty can portal back whenever he wants. Uh, even though they're 2v2 on mid, they're actually doing well. They're doing double Mesmer versus Necro Ellie. I, I feel like they could win this, but if they really wanted to, they could portal back and just plus, plus home. Yeah, the health pools aren't looking too great for this blue team. I mean, Diablo over here at the mine, still pretty low, has Rampage. I'm surprised he hasn't used it. Usually, team, you know, Rampage is, it, you know, despite it being in plus 30 seconds, it's still a relatively low cooldown to that. You want to kind of use point. it at the start of the game. Ooh, that way you nice can make the use. nice burst from Almighty going on a Lord. Takes him down at mine and actually moves his down too. Wow, they actually won this fight. I don't believe they portaled back though. I think... I think they just moved back. Yeah, I think they honestly just moved back. Can they still see a portal down? I'm, I need to check that. Yeah, but over here at the hinge point, we do have a rotation coming in from Delirium. Uh, and respawns for the blue team. Red team needs to send more than just a warrior over here because they got moves and Laser Lord. Moves just dying out there. Laser Lord yeah. is going to come off respawn in a matter of seconds. They are sending, looks like, Diablo over to this hinge point, And they're still making a big push onto the midpoint as well. Yeah, they actually did portal back. Uh, that was all. That was Almighty's portal. And the portal that was on the point was actually Achmed's. He left it there. So I think... They're trying to play a pretty strong two-point because they're just going to keep rotating those portals off while they have like constant pressure on far. So I think it's a pretty good strategy if they can actually win the fights. Um... Yeah, and it looks like over at the hinge point, we still got that 1v1 going on moves. I'm not exactly sure what he wants to do. He was going to plus that fight, going to let it go on for a while. So he got the decap at the mid. Looks like there was a portal that went down. Uh, didn't really make good use of it. Not exactly yeah, sure what the point of that was. He, he just really tried to reset himself. I think, okay. I think he wanted to kind of check if anyone was coming to their home, but at the same time, wanted to like reset a little bit, so he just came back in. Laser Lord <laughs> coming back up to this midpoint. Still, Delirium is super low Delirium here in low. that plague. Uh, he wasn't yeah, playing. He's now he's just spiked down into the downstate there. Diablo able to put that out cleave. so much damage. That cleave, that cleave. But there's a the shadow. Oh, man, that whirlwind coming out there. Is it going to be oh, enough? Oh, get him up. Oh no. Good Moops clean, forced clean. to use that's that RF. Comes out of stealth. Diablo able to get oh, the stomp no. there. That's a huge pickup nice for them. Nice Achmed's still pretty low though. Forced out of here as a couple Condi's ticking. Gets Mass and Viz off. And as the fight, I mean, that's going to move over to the mine point. But Red, Red still not able to clean up mid as Moops is still sitting there. Yeah, I think Diablo is really kind of needs to get out of here. Oh, actually, Almighty's coming in, so maybe he can fight it a little bit. He's got that Endure Pain to keep himself alive for a little bit until he can get plus. Oh, uh, he needs to whirl out of there to Almighty, and Almighty's going to be able to plus him for a bit. Take a look over at the mine point. This is two cap in favor of this red team. Achmed actually about to be taken down there. Got him moped, able to get out there. Um, Pew definitely gonna help him right now. Throws down the portal. Looks like he's probably just gonna piece out of here with his teammates. It looks like Teo actually going to pee. Yeah, they're both pacing out. They know they have the portal. They don't really need to sit there. They can make a, uh, a Zeromas play. They are able to take down moves <laughs> at the midpoint though. So they could probably clean this up as long as they're able to spike down Delirium with multiple members coming here. Blue able to cap that that mine point, but they're nearly down 100 points here. Uh, looking pretty yeah. good for the red team at the start of this both game. Portals, both portals are down right now. Like, they have to just commit to a fight right now. Because they already lost, they, they have to commit to mid right now. And they have to keep an eye on Henge and keep an eye on respawns. I know always, or a Tau's going to spawn, he's going to be able to pressure that mine point when he spawns, but... Um, but yeah, the Guardian just came off spawn, and he might engage, or Moves is not going to engage Prince. He's just going to go probably not a good engagement for him either. Yeah, I, I, there's no way, unless that DDLE messes up a thousand times, no yeah, way they're... he's going to be able to take But Delirium actually taken down. Moves is going to come in. There was an SR coming out from Laser Lord. They're able to, oh, are they able to get him up? The there's so much damage. They're the able to get him up just barely, but they I'm, they were forced to use a lot of cooldowns there. Uh, took a little bit of damage, and now Almighty's the main target. He is going to be taken into Vampirins here. Will it be not that burn taken on him? He is taken into the oh, downstate nice. here. Down. But the stab res coming out there from Tail. Will it be enough? I don't know. There's I don't know his Prince comes in. Yep. Nice, good job. And he's going to be able to get his Mantras up. Probably no problem. Hopefully, yeah. If he just runs away and casts them. He's going to be fine. He's mass investing right now. Look at the damage on Del Delirium, who has no shroud left, taken into the downstate there by Almighty and Tail. So now looking over here at the hinge, we do see Laser able to get the decap just before Anonymous Prince huge. is able to get that there. That was huge. Yeah, that was a pretty good pickup. Now because they have the decap at mid still, Moves is able to just mess around. Achman not going in for that full cap. It looks like Almighty throws down the portal there as he went over to the hinge point, but they saw they had an Ellie there. Really didn't need to do... Uh, Need to force that 2v1. We do see, looks like blue team probably in the best decision on, on their part would be to go to the hench, force the fight there because mid's really not in their favor, right? There's three members of this red team there. Um, it looks like it looks like Achmed's actually going to decap mine right now, so he's probably he might opt to take that full cap. They actually have a, they have Lord down at far, so I think they just need to leave a portal at mid and bounce to far. Uh, I, oh, Diablo just got taken down in Rose on the way to mine, so that might yeah he just got stomped out. Uh, Tao is coming back to to help out at their uh, at, uh, at mine. 
Um, he's fighting. He's fighting moves in rows right now, but they're still gonna get the full cap. And there's a fight going on right now that? at at Hens versus Prince board. and some person. That's gonna be a while. If that if they can leave a portal at mid and try to go plus far uh, in order to like bait them to come back to far, they could portal mid and win that. Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm not so keen on that move from Tao, just kind of roaming around in the roads because Laser can just come down and spike it, or Laser Lord, excuse me, can come spike him down. He did just that in that two v one against Boobs. Now he's off that. I mean, now they have the advantage. They're able to take out. Oh, oh, but look but at Diablo. He moves too soon. I think Boobs kind of knew that. And he just let he just let himself get taken down because he knew he was gonna get rallied. That but the so decap coming out there from Lord Blue as Blue Team able to cap that keep. We are gonna see decaps on sides now as uh, Sharks with lasers trying to get back into this game. They're a little bit you know a better situation than they were two or three minutes ago. But still, we are like six minutes into this game. Neither team even hit 200 points. Dude, Lord with those decaps. That's that's been the uh, that's been the story so far. Really yeah, he's, huge. he's done a great job. And, and Di Diablo sins. I mean. Feels like the red team just keeps getting taken down in the roads here. Really not doing a whole lot. Yeah, they haven't they regrouped regroup. on points. Yeah, they got to regroup on their home. They might want to like stealth up to mid, drop a Did portal and go that? far. Uh, and then when they show up far, point. either they fight it or they can portal back to mid. As long as they have an Ellie watching their home, they can really do, they can go anywhere. They have portals. They can out-rotate the other team anytime they want. So they really have to be playing off that, not using them selfishly. Delirium actually taken into the downstate now. We're going to see Diablo, who is infectious. He does go into the downstate, gets Delirium back up here. Who's oh probably going to be taken down once again. Has Shroud. Gonna try and use his heal, get some Connie clear off there, force into the Shroud. Still so much damage coming out from Ahmed as Ownerless Prince actually taken out as he Not nailed from the hinge point. And they just haven't regrouped. It feels like this red team had won the early fights, but they didn't New clean them up the because yeah, they got there. Delirium down over and over, but they just can't finish him. Honestly, I think Delirium is being a little bit too aggressive. Like he's he's just going in. Like Every single time he's about to die uh, in the gateway too. Yeah, he just goes down. If they get that kill, uh, maybe Honorless Prince will spawn and they can regroup, uh, secure their home, and maybe push in the mid. Oh, Shadow Refuge, and it looked like Delirium had attacked just at the last second there. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, but the big mid fight is going to happen. Is this is the only decap node right here? There's still a slight lead in favor of this red team, who can't really seem to clean up a fight. But the blue team really not taking advantage of the good decaps that have come out from Lord all game long. Yeah, a lot of damage from uh, from Almighty going on on Lord. Lord jumped on him, but Almighty handled him pretty well. And Lord re uh, retreats back to his ledge. Oh, here comes Almighty going in for the kill. I think he... Oh, the Vamp Rune saves him. The Vamp Runes. Too huge. Saving his life just, there. Almighty still running, uh, uh, trying to stick out top of him as Ahmed and moves. Both join the fight just back like here. We that. have that 1v1 Blue going on at the, at the hinge point. But Blue able to mop, I mean, actually claim the midpoint for themselves. With this two cap, doesn't look like they're going to be losing either point uh, for quite some time here. So they should be able oh to get, you know, a lead Almighty here. Almighty just portaled in order to save his life. I, I don't know if that was the right <laughs> call. I mean, his team could have really used it. I mean, it did save his life. But I, I don't know if he had Torch Stealth up, or at least try to use Blink and not have to use Portal first, because now his team can out rotate the other team unless. Well, oh, Akme's on timer, so they or he's bleed or he's in downstate right now, so they can't out rotate again. They just need oh, like take you can do more work with one Mesmer than they're doing right now. Honestly. Take a look over at the hinge. We did see the Stomp come out onto Delirium, as I believe Diablo actually was in that two v two, had Rampage, got the Rampage Stomp. That's going to be a good pickup for this red team as they're you know their lead is slowly crumbling as a two cap once again going to come out for this blue team uh, as they do get Laser Lord that? over at red the mine, team, able to get the full cap. Blue team still holding on to mid pretty strong. Moves blue does get taken down over here point. below the keep. That is going to be a good pickup. He, he has to cleave with, with Almighty. He actually burned his portal there too. I, I don't... Honestly, I have no idea why. He he just... He might have fat fingered it, uh, but I... He literally just burned, burned his portal on nothing. That's going to hurt them again. Uh, it feels like they they've been doing that a lot. They, they really yeah, haven't they, made any good portal not, plays. They're just not utilizing their portals. Like, they got two Mesmers and they're just... They're just not playing the portal, right? And it might be... That might be the reason why they're losing right now. I, have, I actually have a feeling it is. <laughs> uh, if this decap happens just a couple ticks away at the midpoint, Diablo Sins taking on this 1v2 right here against Lord and Earl. Uh, trying to do it. He's doing a great job in this. He could actually take down Earl. Needs some support, but the rest of his team oh. actually is over on the steps where Achman is actually taken into the downstate. Moves came off, He's respawn done. came done. in there, tried to get the kill, Diablo. able to get that. That was a huge pickup as Blue Team take the leap for the first time all game. Yeah, honestly, the, the, the momentum is just swinging in the Blue's favor. And right now, Diablo is probably going to get taken down right now. And they already have Ahmed on timer. They're just going to stagger them right now. They could probably even try to sneak their home right now if they, since they have, they have two people down and and Th or Afro Thunder just spawned. So I think Afro is actually trying to. He's looking at far. 
Yeah, I think he's he's gonna try. They're gonna probably try to regroup at far right now. I know Prince is on the, on his way there right now. I don't know what Almighty's doing. Like Maybe he's trying, he actually pulled back there. Oh, he's gonna get that because the Ellie, the Ellie didn't even notice some person. Oh, Will he get a oh, the knockback? Nice knockback. Nice that was knockback. an amazing illusionary wave coming out there from uh, Almighty. That was probably game saving in the sense, you know, they're down almost 30, 20 points here. That was a huge pickup. Even if he, you know, has to bail out of here, he's wasting their time. They can make a big regroup over at the mine point, or Henge, excuse me, especially since Laser Lord was taken in downstate. They're going to make a big push to mid. Uh, actually, over here at the Henge, we have a 3v2 now in their favor. Yeah, that DCAP was a huge momentum shift. Lord's going to be on timer now, and Almighty was able to survive the burst of Moobs and I believe, who is that? That is... Al? Some person there. No, or not Tal, sorry, some person. And they were able to force them out. They might even get the full cap here because some person is just getting pressured pretty hard by the... Uh... I mean, yeah. what do you think at this state? Should Diablo just rampage? It? I mean, perhaps not right now, but oh. he could have to taken it earlier uh, just because of the fact he still would have rampage up later Red on in this game. They're not going to get this kill on some person either, I don't think. Yeah, I think he, he probably should have, but it kind of worked out in his favor. So I guess... Oh, really but over here at the hedge, we do see the decap come out. Uh, Delirium able to force off the Ellie from this node. It looks like Honorless Prince just trying to stay alive. That just cap is like going to go in favor of the blue, blue team, team despite you know what looked like a, a mini a comeback. I would I don't want to say comeback because it really wasn't you know it's still it's a super close game here, a but shift. a momentum, a momentum shift. shift. But they are going to get this decap in a matter of seconds unless blue team does have good rotations. Lord Earl going to come plus his fight. They don't want him on that point because he's never going to get off of it. Yeah. And Prince is looking a little bit low. I think they're trying to focus him a little bit, but Delirium looking even lower. He just got updrafted. Uh, he stun broke that and got out. Ooh, he that played, plague. so that's going to delay it a little bit longer. I think that's just that's going to be exactly what he needs to stay alive for a little bit more. Nice pull from moves. But the uh, mid decap actually happened. Uh, Red able to get the decap at the midpoint. Delirium taking uh, it into the downstate. Down and the distortion stop coming out. There's a the rampage from Diablo. It oh. might actually pay off that he uses it here, especially get on top of Earl, oh, who is going to get blasted. obliterated. That was actually, you know, a good thing he had actually saved that because yeah. I think that really yeah. helped Blue them. Team the Blue team get the cap at the keep. Now red team can try and hold on to a two cap, but we see coming off a respawn, Laser Lord able to get the decap over at the mine point. That's not really going to help. We're pro it's probably going to come down to boss skills, I would have to say. Yeah, it definitely could. I mean, red they have to. Wins a they, uh, red team really has to get back to their home right now because if. Actually, the LA's going to stay mid. It's going to be a probably... The 2v2 on mine is probably going to decide the game right now. I know Lord Earl's in downstate, so they could push a little bit well, to Well, they could get this submit. Chieftain right now. They got three members over there. No one for this blue team that could spike down Chieftain is even close. Delirium that should not true. be able to last oh, kill. Oh, the portal coming out from Almighty brings him to mid, but he's getting stumped by some person. If he has stab... Is oh, he able to get that? He, he's going he for it again. First one, but he can't interrupt the next one. Nope. Yeah, that, that's not going to connect. And now it's going to be Almighty versus some person. They're going for Chieftain, though. Chieftain already about 40% HP. Blue team oh, taking that two cap. They're going to be tied up here. They are just it. barely tied up as the thief. Laser Lord made his way over here, not able to get the steal. Uh, we do see coming off a of respawn. Almighty going to go for the decap. Going to be in a 1v1 against Moobs. Has some help as his Ellie's coming off a of respawn. They're going to force a 2v1 here. The red team, I think it's in their best interest to forget mid, get over to the mine point because that's where spawning is. That's where it's going to come down to if they're able to get the decap over at the mine. Yeah, they need to drop one of their portals on mid and go to go to home ASAP. Because if anybody, they should have an outnumbered fight at their home. As long as one of their Ellie stays back and but watches mid, they should But they're pushing mid. I don't, I don't like that decision to push mid it, from the red team. And Afro just portaled back. Like, he's, I don't know, just not the smartest usage of portal from what I've seen All so right, far. There's so, three people learning around mid, though, right now. But there's the decap so, over at the mine that was essential to them winning this game. That was huge. Look, 20, minute, 20 points skill. away for this blue team. It could definitely very, it could very well come down to Bosco. I think it will. Uh, if they get that boss, they'll win. But but both the teams win. It's right gonna come down. No one's going for it, so the blue team will win unless they get the decap here, oh, uh, because man. no one is going for it. They need to go for it now. And, and red team is just. I think that's game because I think that might be game. Yeah, they're not going for. They're not recognizing. It. Oh, here comes Diablo. Diablo going for the boss right now. Can he take it no, down? No, I don't so think it's damage. he's got rampage in five seconds. Yeah, he no, it's not gonna happen. Yet, and he just completely and the timer on the game, uh, it's it's over. They if needed they to for go boss, for that. If they went for the boss, they uh, that rampage came up just a little bit earlier. They could have gone for balls and probably won it. That was a really close game. I honestly uh, don't think that the first boss they went for was a good choice because they well, could have used that time to go for it. What they needed to do was send one of their Ellies to just sit on my point and send the rest of the team to force Swaninger because. 
Do there was literally no other way they would have won that game unless they got a decap at mid, which wasn't happening. There were two or three members of the blue team there at the end of that game. They needed to go for Zvania, and blue team knew if they that they didn't need to force that because they held mid. So they were expecting the red team to, but they never did. So that really ended up hurting them in the end. Yeah, that was a little bit. I'm, I'm. It's kind of unfortunate they didn't go for a boss at the end. I mean, they. I feel like they kind of saw that, you know, far wasn't in any way going to get capped anytime soon. I think they should have gone for boss like a lot sooner. <laughs> yeah, it's a little unfortunate, uh, but, you know, Sharks with Lasers taking game number one. That was a very, very close game there. Best team North Africa. Definitely not out of it here. Oh, yeah, for sure. That was a really close game. I honestly think it really comes down to the portal usage. They're killing people, but they're just <laughs> they're just using selfish portals, as I like to call it. I. I strongly disagree with it. Like, I feel like one Mesmer who knows what he's doing with his portal can just make more plays than two Mesmers who don't, you know? Is that coming from personal experience or something? Uh, I mean, Sounds I guess you like could say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the winner of this set will be more than likely taking on the number one overall seed in this tournament. That would be, uh, what are we doing, guys? AKA, what they're, si they're signed up as good guys win points and Almost every single tournament they played in, they've won. Uh, they are missing Ipno tonight, though. That is stormed by Pizza because he played with Radioactive yesterday, who got first place. So he was yeah. barred from tonight's tournament after that first place victory. So unfortunately for him, he's not able to play. But he's being replaced by Bear, who was on Sassy Boys. Suitable replacement for them. Oh, is he playing Thief or is he playing Guardian? I think Bear will you know? be on Guardian tonight. Okay. And I think yeah, that would strong, be our next matchup, assuming, you know, that that would probably be another very good matchup. Yeah. And, th like, honestly, if you think about the two portals and the Rampage, I think it may come down to boss. And I think they have the advantage if it comes down to boss on this map. If they, It's just the, the portals. The portals need to be on point. If they had their portals on point, they'd probably win be winning these games. Not easily, but a little bit more handedly. Yeah, I think better rotations could have happened. And they really didn't seem to clean up any fights. Yeah. And I'm just being told that Bear is actually playing Mesmer tonight. That is what Pizza, a.k.a. Ipno, actually runs. So they're going to have an identical comp to what they normally have. Oh, nice. Shout-outs to all the Mesmers out there, and shout-outs to Sword Focus. <laughs> Probably going to be seeing a lot of it. Uh, Sword Torch, actually. Yeah. We know you're the Focus King. Just waiting on this blue team to go ahead and ready up. Terminating some last minute strats. You know, I'd have to say, if we do see a couple portal plays on this uh, on this map from this red team, they could definitely take it. Um, some bad decisions at the end definitely cost them the game, but it really felt like blue team was on the comeback ever since like the 10 minute mark hit. Just ever so slowly. Yeah. Yeah, the two Mesmers, probably, one sec. You have this game the getting underway, game number two here in this best of three series. Winner of this will be moving on into the semifinals. One step closer to getting gems this week. Taking a look at the opening splits for both these teams. Have to see if we see any interesting things. Hold on to your uh, doesn't look like anything right off the bat is going to be too crazy. Laser Lord in the base, not asking for a reset or anything for him being AFK. Um. Uh, <laughs> they're sending three to, uh, Red Team's sending three to far right now. They're gonna try to gank if, out. Or it all. looks like their fifth is actually AFK, but we do actually not reset for anything other than DC issues. Uh, being uh, AFK is not. Someone's got honor. Uh, he someone's did, got honor. He did DC. Uh, nothing has been called here and is at the I threshold, so they are not able to reset that match now. Uh, so unfortunately, it's going to be a 5v4 situation for this blue team, but they are definitely used to this because the first set they played, the first set they started, it was a 5v4 situation. Yeah. And actually, a, a better portal coming out from Almighty. He had it near mid, so after they cleaned up far, he was able that? to you know, get to mid as soon as possible. They got the full point. cap. They didn't kill the Ellie on far, but they were able to get the full cap. Delirium popping that plague, and I'd say the only other target would be some person. They need to knock him off that res, or that stomp. I mean, they pick up that stomp. stomp. That's pretty good. I mean... <laughs> As they got the decaps too, so you know this isn't going too terribly bad right now for this blue team. Now they have Laser Lord back. Uh, this is going to be a five v five. He is coming back into this game. Uh, all they did was lose the hench the, the quarry point. Uh, Delirium actually taken into downstate. That would be a good pickup. Uh, if red team wants to get this point. blue team able to cap that waterfall. No, you know that DC probably not going to hurt them overall. 
Yeah. We'll have to see if it comes down to a matter oh, of five points in the end. Oh, he canceled his heal with 12 stacks of burn on him. Oh my goodness. It takes him down to like 25% and Lord's on him right now. He's probably going to take him out. Moves is still down though. Ah, uh, Willow might he be able to get out. I think. Yeah. Yeah. He got out. And he's got enough heals to throw and sustain. Hawkman throw pretty low as well. So is Diablo Sins. Moves obviously taken out of this fight. We are going to see a decap over here at the quarry. Some person FGS to it. Tao not going to be able to get there. Is Laser Lord going to come on top of him, make that a 2v1? Uh, red team trying to clean up this mid fight. That's where all five members are actually at, except the Mesmer. We see Afri going to force a 1v1 against Earl. Oh, Earl should be able to stay alive. Oh actually, no, I don't like Earl's chances that? because he's not red running Earth. I do not like his chances in that 1v1, especially with Diablo oh Sins coming into this fight. Like Blue team takes a cover. What did you just see going on at the midpoint? At mid, uh, I just saw Almighty uh, stealth up and burst Lord, and then right when uh, right when Lord came out of mist, he was able to sneak in an auto after the uh, the withdrawal and catch him in stealth, and it was able, it was enough to kill him with the fire air. So that was that was a huge pickup. I'm pretty sure they just <laughs> I just ate my words because it just resonant, but Earl still dead. Or Earl just went on full timer, and Honorless goes down at mid. They got two people cleaving him out, cleaving him out. I don't think they're gonna be able to get him up, but. For blue team, Delirium's pretty low. He's coming near the point. Try to group up with his teammates to get Red some support. Wins the capture point. Yeah, Arnold's Prince actually taken into the down. Uh, actually, fully dies, dies there. Uh, it's going to be a good pickup. But Red team holding on to that waterfall. So just got that cap. Uh, trying to build a small lead. But the decap at the midpoint. Mid. Not exactly sure. They had Diablo there. They had Almighty. And I believe they had Achmed. All three of them off the point. That is really going to hurt them. But Delirium oh, taken into the down state. Oh my god. And the cleave takes out moves too. Oh my god. That damage. That's what they need. That's exactly uh, what they need. Now we see the Shadow Refuge oh coming God, out from Laser Lord going in for the rest, but he gets taken oh in. That's God, it. There's a kill. The full kill on Almighty. That's such oh a game Oh my changer. gosh. Oh my God. What a play by Lord. That was awesome. That and taking Sins him down. Out of mid. Oh but Ahmed actually gets back up. The stomp coming out from moves on to Diablo. Now it looks like Delirium is the main target. He's about to be taken into the down state. Will he be? Has Shroud up. Teo not able to get on top of him. 900 health left for Delirium oh after this Shroud. He's going to be taken out. Definitely. Afro putting on that deep. Or is he? <laughs> there he is. Okay. Arnold's like Prince going in for that stab stomp. He should be able to get that. And Blue Red Team, team not out of this mid fight just yet. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're two cap right now. They need to do something. I know, I know Afro has his portal on mid. He's starting to head to... To home, he turns around to see some person, even though he's stealth for a while. Oh my god! The one shot coming on him moves from Afro, but doesn't even think to cleave him. He might get res if, if, if he gets left there. Yeah, some person going for the res. Almighty's cleaving him a bit, but the symbol's gonna be able to get him up. Oh my god, he can't leave bodies down like that. Yeah, and there's a nice updraft, gonna mitigate some of the damage. With Tail still in the down state, going in for that stomp. Laser Lord able to get the stop, it gets the taken in the down state. At the time of that stomp, no way. Actually, Delirium going in for that rest. He should be able to get it with Earl coming in there. Moves still pretty low here. Uh, Red team really haven't mopped up this fight. Trying to get the decap over the quarry. Some person, does he know? Yes, he does know he's there. Not able to get that decap. Uh, decap comes over at the waterfall. But Blue team back in this game with about a 40-point lead here. Yeah, Moves, Moves is looking at far. He, he is actually looking at far, but Moves is there right now. And they're going to be getting into the 1v1. I don't know what that portal was for because he opened it after he had decap. So... I know he didn't use it to get there. I think he was trying to leave and then saw Moobs coming, so he stayed. Uh, so he's in that 1v1 right now. I don't know. I mean, Moobs is pretty low on cooldowns, but he could definitely win this. Yeah, it looks like after it. Oh, he's so low. Oh, Does he block. Gets the ages from the PU. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now Moobs needs huge. to be very careful. That oh, does this combo take him out? The There's the oh Vampire. But the full heal. Oh my I god. I think Moobs has this. I mean, his heal's up the in shield, about a the second. Shield, the shield. Oh, nice part coming out from, from Afro. And Moves is able to force him off the point. I, I don't know if Afro's going to come back after that. that was, I'm that taking was a look over here at the Warrior. No, we got a 2v2 going on. Diablo Sin's not able to take anyone out with that Rampage here, but Laser Lord now under a lot of pressure. Doesn't land that Earthshaker onto him. Port all over the place, able to stay alive, but he's really not putting out any offensive pressure as Vampirins are popped from himself. Diablo Sin's still sticking on top of him. Has withdraw up in about a second. Will it be enough? Able to get cutting it off. pretty well. He's cutting well. Oh, man. There he's taken oh, down. Man. It's almighty able to land that Mantra on top of him. That, that hundred blades. Is, yeah, is that cleave from the much. warrior, it's so huge. Let me see if he has rampage up right now. No, he already used it in this yeah, fight. Yeah, he already used that, yeah. Uh, he Almighty might be taken right out now. though. Oh, so Diablo is taken into the downstate, but laser lord gets oh, taken. Is some person gonna be able to one me too? Oh nice stealth coming out. That was that was good that since then to try to knock him down. Is it gonna be enough though? And the, the he has to, why isn't laser? some person Ooh, randomly dude, cleaving? I don't understand this right now. Yeah. He knew he was down. He could have just I, I randomly cleaved. Yeah, I, I don't. That was kind of a misplay. But 
I don't think some person could have had that. That was actually... I think he could have. If he, if he turned around and tried to go for the Mesmer, uh, I think he actually could have taken both of them down. That would have been that would have been huge. He actually gets taken down right there. It's unfortunate, but they have a, they're going to have a one cap after this, and they're actually capping Waterfall too right now. So that's a two cap. They need to bail out of mid. They need to drop portals in mid, have someone tank the same mid, and just Red just camp it and just uh, just stall it for as long as possible. Now Ackman's main target at this midpoint is going to be Moobs, who is sitting at 100 HP. So is RF if he needs it, so he should be okay for the time being. But look at that damage. Almost able to take out Ahmed in the process. Yeah, Here he's taking out Delirium, gonna plus his fight. Now Tail's getting too low. Look at the Tail is taking oh out. Look at that God, whirling rat. So much cleave coming out from moves and Delirium. Oh my goodness. Now Diablo about to be taken out, but there's moves getting taken into the downstate. Down. Diablo taken into the downstate as well. Nice so updraft. Down right now. If they can just finish Ahmed. Oh, that was it. Yeah, they finished yeah, moves back up. Yeah. Oh, moves almost went down right there. But Diablo is down right now. Uh, he vengeance right there, and Moobs is chasing off Tower right now onto their ledge. So, so is Laser Lord. <laughs> He's making a push onto Arnolus Prince. Actually, gonna peace out because he knows Moobs is super low. Needs some help. You know that they one cap on the waterfall gonna allow this red team to get back into this game. But there, Tail actually taking out from that whirling wrath coming out there from Moobs. But he's about to be taken out. Will the fire team Just from like Arnolus Prince take takes him out? I don't think it board. will. Able to clean that kill up on Tail as Blue Team taking the two cap, possibly decap over at the waterfall. Yeah, it looks just like they are. Too. They uh, Red Team let their home get decap, and they lost the mid fight. That was just, and they got their far decap. Like that was just a complete loss. They need to regroup at their home right now. Uh, Tao just spawned, so they all need to just regroup at their home right now. I think. Um, Prince is trying to bail out of far. He's got two people on him. If they just regroup with the men they have at their home, they can wipe it and head mid. Yeah, they're looking to get the decap over the quarry. There they get it at the waterfall as well. Blue, Red team actually making a push Just from like mid. That. You know, at, the, at this point where they had the decap, you know, on the sides, I think they should have focused that rather than the midpoint. Yeah. Take a look at Moobs though at the mid. He's about to be taken in the downstate. Nice J.I. Oh, and get out of there. Portal? Nope, taking oh, in the downstate. Tr double stop coming out for these guys. There's a nice Shadow Refuge, but Moobs attacks. We do have Rampage up for Diablo Sins. He needs to, like I think he needs that. to use it here and Blue Just absolutely wreck through, you know, point. Delirium. Yeah. That would be a huge momentum change for his team. I mean, the two Moves cap right now. Down, so in order to clean up, like, I would use it right now. Especially since Plague is up in about 10 seconds for Delirium. You don't want him to have that time. Uh, yeah, there he is okay, actually taken out. Down, but he, here comes nice the, updraft. Up wow. Oh my god, that was an amazing updraft. They actually might get the res because the cleave's not there and the blind's coming out. Stop Sins from getting that cleave off that he originally wanted to. Uh, but That was an incredible updraft from some person. I think he hit four people. Three, three or four people. Three yeah, or four was, people there. Crazy. Still no rampage. Still no <laughs> rampage coming out. I, I don't agree with that. I, mean, I, think, I think he's kind of the there. Time. It is finally. But there we go. Yeah, was it that, too oh late? Oh my God! Takes out moves there too. That was so important. Now Lord Earl going to be that main target. Is he able to take him out though? Oh, oh so close! He is with the help of Almighty. Two, two on the death counter for that rampage. Uh, as Tail actually taken into the down state here. We'll have Did to see. Is that, that res going to happen? Yeah, he's got, got that pain. Point. Oh, but nice updraft. Oh, and they need to get on the res right now. But Lord Earl still in the downstate, able to get that res. There's a massive viz coming out from Almighty. He's going to stealth stomp, uh, but they need, that, they, need that, they need that 100 blades right now. That was a nice 100 blades. Yeah, Red Lord team wins a cup just came in there with res. that Shadow Refuge. Is it going to be yeah, enough yeah, once Lord again? Lord still resing. I think he's actually going to get him. Yeah, Remember, he's running crit wow. strikes instead of Shadow Arts, so he's not going to have that stealth coming in for the res automatically. He's got to use Shadow Refuge for that. Uh, Teo actually about to be taken down. Static Ore gonna save him for the time being, but Moves coming in with the cleave, gonna take him into the downstate, going in for that stomp, will be enough. No, it is not for the time being. Tal misses the point, he's got two teammates there, but that wall coming out from Lord Earl is really but gonna But Moves taking into the downstate. But he's gonna rally, he's gonna rally, hopefully. Yeah, oh, he wow. From, from Tal. Yeah, this game Moves isn't over, though. Moves really taking into the downstate. Down they, they, down again. they need to have cleave on him. Moves say, oh, what is that, nice eight place. times maybe? I, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure if our moves, but <laughs> like moves that. taken out Blue there. Blue team taking the cap ball. over at the quarry. This game is not over yet, despite them being down 115 points. Remember, the Lord definitely can come into play. Take a look at Delirium in this 1v1 against Arnold's Prince. Delirium just kind of wasting his time here, I think. Uh, especially yeah, since Lord decided point, not to plus that own. fight. Yeah, he's just, he's fighting on a point, point he doesn't own. And in, in that fight, it's pretty tough to win a, for like a Necro against Ellie. I know, I know it's easier to win if you like, I like top tier, but I, I would not fight this if I was him. He's trying to head to mid, he's trying to disengage, but I think he needs to call for help or something. Oh, and he got blinded, or so he couldn't uh, play transfer. But, oh, he, he gets feared off the stomp. They can't let this blue team take that cap at the mid. They are only a couple ticks away here. 
Yeah, they need to keep these decaps. I mean, Delirium they taking hands down. Say, look, Moops is already on the gate for the red team. So uh, it's sitting about 25% HP here. Moops able to take that down fairly quickly. Remember, this blue team doesn't have portals, so they're just going to have to make a push for it if they want to. Moops is going to go for the 1v1 on Lord, it looks like. Uh, blue team yeah, able to cap that graveyard as Delirium is taken into the down state from Diablo Sin. It's not gonna, are they going to be able to get person. their rest? Is some person running, running Mercy or something? How is he? No, he's oh, not there, running Mercy. There, but there, there it is. Fast, able to finish him up there. Uh, you know, we still haven't seen any good portal plays. It's Moobs back at, at the Lord. I don't is think that's a good idea. Like, he's got, he's got oh. all lady coming up behind him. This might not be good for Moobs. Um, and the other, and Red Team's just kind of, well, they're a little bit stalemated right now. They have a 1v1 going on at mine, and they've got, I think that's a 3v4. No, no, three B. Sorry, they're gonna be two. looking for the Lord though, because as soon as they hit, they're gonna get a two cap on the sides here. They need to all. I think they need to send one person over to the water, the quarry. Everyone else over to the waterfall. Have a portal. Get that gate down, because at three fifty, you gotta go for it. I think blue yeah, team the game has. Ends. The game should end at three fifty if you have. Yeah, nothing. I mean, it's you like... got two minutes and forty seconds left in this game. Red team will not hit five hundred without that Lord. Yeah, they really. Let's need say to... miraculously three cap them, and I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, Anulus Prince going back to Waterfall. Hopefully, he may be going to dig down the gate right now. Moose just got up respawn. He's looking to go, I believe, mid. The Ahmed taking in and down state at the midpoint. Nice yeah, person coming, coming out mid. there from Laser Lord, who's going to go try. Looked like he was attempting maybe to go over to the quarry. Saw two people over there. Nice burst out from, I believe that's Almighty. Red team, uh, Red team do board. claim both sides now. Technically, they could win this they game win. without getting the Lord. Uh, but will time allow for it? Anulus Prince getting on that gate about 25% HP with two minutes left. I don't know if they're able ah, to. the decap coming out at Waterfall by Lord Earl. Now they, I mean, oh, well. The and look, Diablo Sin's actually down, taken yeah. down by some person, and he looks to make up. I'm not exactly sure what his plans are. Laser Lord taking, I mean, they're just down state, you know, down bodies for both teams all over the map. Red all team's current place. status, they can't go for the Lord. Yeah, see, like, Almighty not having the having the power spike over the, the Days Mancher just stopped him from cleaving that, or stunning the res right there. It's and unfortunate. Moops. Look at Moops. Lord 2.0, I'm not exactly oh sure what he's doing. Oh boy, oh boy. Moops. Oh, Moops. He might be trying to sneak a Deacon out. He's going straight for Lord, I think. But yeah, Diablo Sins is coming off cooldown, so he's going to be met by him. Maybe Moops is trying to create a diversion that won't allow for one of their members to go for the Lord, but we see no, another some member. Coming too. Some person's going to. Yeah. Uh, Diablo is going to have to hold them both off. But he doesn't but he's see not, it. He's not going. He doesn't know what's happening. He's going straight for their Lord. This is going to be a uh, double Lord it's rush. Be a race, but but I this, think Blue this Red Lord. Win it. But I don't know. Moops already forced to use a lot of cooldowns there. As he took a big chunk of health coming out from the Lord. Expect with some Hurst in here, this is definitely a game in favor of the blue team. Lord already yeah. about 50 cent HP. Uh, but look they at the red team. They're heal. making a big push for it, but it's not going to be nearly enough. It's they needed not somebody be there. Enough, I don't think. No, that Lord, they, they haven't even started him. Now they're starting him. That's going to be game over in favor of Sharks with Lasers. Taking game number two, moving on into the semifinals. That's actually a pretty interesting game. I mean, like, once again, the Mesmer just were not utilizing those portals. Just. At 350, there should have been the gate down, and a uh, Mesmer should have been going into that gate to drop a portal like immediately. They were just using portal, uh, sometimes to go back to their own home node, sometimes decapping, but for the most part, they were using them selfishly, and that I feel like that really hurt them. Yeah, it did. I, I, we didn't really see any good portal plays coming out from that red team, unfortunately, for them. So, Sharks with Lasers is going to be moving on into the semifinals to take on good guys, win points. Known to those of you who have watched this tournament before, by what are we doing guys excited to see that matchup i think that's going to be a thrilling one uh that i mean taking a brief look at it what are we doing guys like i said they've won this tournament week after week and are looking really strong i'm not so sure we'll have to see how sharks with lasers matches up against them but we're going to go on a short break guys and when we're back we should have that semi-final ready for you so stay tuned
Welcome back, everybody, to the AG number 32. We have our next matchup for you guys. It's going to be the semifinal matchup that I promised. Good guys win points up against that team that we just saw take out best team, North Africa. That would be Sharks with lasers. Good guy win points known as what are we doing, guys, in previous tournaments. They are missing one of their players, so they're going to be subbing in uh, barely, barely, barely serious, uh, known as barely salty in today's match, uh, in, in place of Ipno, who had placed first place in the ESL yesterday with Radioactive. Wasn't able to make it because of that ruling, uh, but Bear going to be you know, a very solid substitute nonetheless. Uh, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get into this first matchup. As we have both teams actually joined up here. Over on the red, we've got good guys win points, and on the blue, sharks with lasers. What do we have for GGWP here? Aromas. All right, so Slynn's running, it looks like, Burn Guardian, running that Carrion with Balthazar. Um, he's actually running Doom and Geo on his uh, Scepter Torch uh, and only one energy, so that might affect his survivability a bit. Um, Swift Tomahawk, just running Shadow Arts DP Thief, um, taking Vamp. Fairly straight, running with the old Mantra build. Yeah, he's, he's running with the old Mantra setup. I don't know if I agree with this, but... I mean, it's still effective. It's just that it um, it's not always up. So it's just, it's it's okay, but it's just a little bit. It it might not be as good as PU. Um, we'll see how that plays out. I'm actually kind of curious because I thought that it just isn't very good anymore. But um, and Matt Gen and Aerodynamic are both running uh, the same builds. They're running DD fire or DD. I believe they're both running fire. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, they're both running DD fire. Sally Ellie. That they are. So nothing too crazy coming out from them except Bears build. Uh, a little outdated. Uh, take a, a look over. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look over at Sharks. We've got some person going to be running Fire DDL with Selly. Uh, he is actually running Signet of Renewal. Uh, very interesting, interesting to see that on a DDL. Usually we only see that on Staff LEs and only some of them for that matter. And oh, Quilter was the surprising. main person who actually ran uh, that. Him Shout and, out to Quilter. Him, him and Chubbs back when they played. Uh, but yeah, interested to see how that works out for him. <laughs> uh, take a look at Lord Earl. He's running basically the same thing. Uh, actually, he's running. He's the one running Staff Ellie. Excuse me. He's running with Selly and Strength Runes. Uh, he is also running Fire Arcane and Water. Not going to be as tanky as normal Staff Ellies without that Earth. Still sticking with the Signet of Earth for himself. Noobs sticking to Mediguard. He's going to be running Sword Focus with Pack Runes, Zerker Amulet. Uh, with that Meditation Heal, five Medis coming out for him. Delirium playing Triple Signet, Selly Necro. Nothing too crazy about his build running with the Dagger Warhorn. Staff, and finally, Laser going to be sticking to that Crit Strikes, DP, Vampirin's Marauder Amulet build. He's also running Signet of Agility. Uh, this is something I actually like to write, uh, run. The Signet of Agility, I think it's it's maybe not better than Blinding Powder, but I think it still has its uh, good use for that matter. So uh, how, we'll have to see how that works out for him against you know Bear and Swift Tomahawk, who... Uh, Swift obviously running a more popular build that's not quite as outdated. Uh, it's not outdated at all, actually. Uh, while Lords is a little out there, Crit Strikes we don't really don't see much anymore. So, uh, take a look at these comps. So, who's your favorite in this matchup? Well, I don't know. I'm a mesmer, so I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Red. I'm really curious to see how Barely is gonna use his portal. Um, I think that they have the damage. Like the comps are kind of similar like a little bit they both have double le and they both have a thief okay no more no more glyph of renewal for some person actually he's okay. swapped back so to he's trying, he's trying. i thought he was yeah, running yeah. for moves or at least trigged it so oh, okay okay uh, yeah. i think it's really going to come down as portals and just like they have the damage they have the mobility i think they just have to out rotate and you now just use their damage uh properly yeah take a look at the opening splits game number one underway Hold it looks on like we're going to see sharks once again Seize sending bears. multiple members, members through that beach uh, as aerodynamic going to be he seeds them. We'll have to see as uh, actually some person does slow him down. So does Laser. He's not going to be able to go back to that hinge point. So he's going to go support the mine point, play a two-point strategy. Some person going to try and uh, see what he can do over at the mine. As, you know, this looked like both teams were going for sides Just right off the bat, but it's been forced to the mid fight uh, for both of them now. Yeah, Blue actually might get that full cap. Oh, uh, almost. No, no, it's actually halfway. But uh, they tried to jump on aerodynamic in the roads. Um, it actually revealed Lord, and it kind of worked out for Aerodynamic because they found out where the thief was. But uh, this mid fight is pretty big right now. I think or Earl's looking to rotate in, or maybe go for the decap right now. He's rotating in. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a straight. F uh, actually, no. He he changed his we mind. Do we do see Swift Tomac actually taken down. We do see Bear coming in with that time warp. Will it be enough nice to get him up? Warp. It looks. But look at the Khan. He's taken out from that blue team on top of him. 
Doesn't look like it takes him out, but Delirium doing a good job pushing out the Connies onto that team. Now Laser Lord about to be taken in down state. Look, two stacks of burn gonna take him out there, not allowing for anything to happen. Now Slint sticking on top of him. Takes moves down as well. Man, the burn guard, I mean, we saw what it could do in the WTS. Probably wasn't the most effective build, but it still had some potency at that. And taking down moves and Laser Lord there, that's gonna be a pretty good pickup as they Portal. do get the decap over at the mine point. Uh, kind of a useless portal again from from barely coming out. I, I have literally no idea why he popped that. But what I was gonna say before the match started is that um, that the burn guard is really effective against uh, against the vampirism. Like that's you see that? that's huge Red against vampirism. Pretty much, if they have burn on them and they get proc vamp, they're dead. So that's, it's gonna that's be a good. really nice counter. Yeah. yeah, good point there. And we do have this two cap coming out from this mood team. Valerium takes out Slin uh, at Chieftain. I think he might actually just want to let Chieftain cleave him out, but. I guess not, I just need to get this time. I guess they're gonna go for Chieftain right now. Uh, real quick, get that kill. Um, Got a little bit of fight going on over in the roads and over at the mine point. Some person actually taken down. Moops going in for the res. Will Bear and Aerodynamic be able to cleave him out? No, it does not look the orange. Are they oh, so they close? The that was huge. I and was Slim expecting an updraft or maybe an earthquake. We did see Chieftain actually get taken by the blue team there. So yeah. Sharks with Lasers able to get another 25 points. They're gonna they're gonna be outnumbered. Like they got they're about to have a 5v3 on their home. This is huge. They gotta get on some person. They gotta finish him right now. Yeah, Bear really not really making the most use of that build. We haven't really seen a huge spike come down with that mantra of distraction. You know, power lock can do so much if you're able to land it there. Bring out the mantra of uh, restoration or. Yes, it is there. You know, he's trying to heal himself, but he's about to be taken in down state. Laser Lord taking it out on the point. Not a whole nice, lot of cleave, bad. but they're not going into the res. Yeah, I wouldn't go for that either. Like, they saw the Chaos Storm up too. Yeah, barely doesn't even, barely just pops the Chaos Storm. He leaves a portal on their home. They're they're in a good that? spot to push mid right now. Um, they could actually have, they could actually leave their home because they have the portal on it, and they could outnumber mid, or maybe even go for the decap if they're quick enough, but I think the respawn's gonna be too fast. So they just need to push into mid right now. Some person go for the decap over at the mine. It's going to be enough. Slin, oh, does J.I. Or actually, he didn't even use J.I. Sword 2 coming out there from him. Uh, take a look at what's going on at mid. Still a decap node like for that. both these teams. Blue, Blue team, team actually get the full cap as the stealth cap, yeah. came out from Swift Tomahawk. They really needed, I, th I don't know that they needed to do that. But Mackin actually losing the 1v1, two moves behind oh. the key. And Lord just lost the 1v1 to Aerodynamic at his home. And here comes some person to try to get him up. Uh, but I think this is just a good situation for um, for Aerodyne. I don't know. Red. Yes. Uh, unless he can get this red, earthquake, come huge. on. I mean, he needs. He doesn't have to wrapped up for another 20 seconds here, so uh, I think he's, he's got that res. I think. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Burning's been into the wall. That was actually a good uh, play. It was. He got you know enough, some help yeah. off of some person, but nonetheless, he's gonna be in that one v two. Uh, does he needs lightning to bail. flash he needs out? To bail right now. Laser Lord on top and 500 health. Oh, I'm not yeah. so sure. Red team, got to Red team right gets now. a two cap while they force two members over there though. And he's getting support uh, as they Aero. try to make their way over there. Will be enough. Is Laser Lord still on top of Aerodynamic? He's staying alive. He, Rom 2.0 over here at a lower tier. I, I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, oh nice. Portal. That was about the best portal we've seen uh, all, all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it nice. wasn't that even was very far. Uh, exit. That was good. They can actually go for mine right now since they have a little bit of a. Oh, no, they choose to portal back and try to keep fighting this point. The uh, the red LA aerodynamic has to watch mid from moves. I, he should be able to 1v1 that no Just problem. Like that. And Delirium is getting, getting the full cap on But look, Laser Lord gonna plus that fight. No, maybe he's not. He just peaced out for a little bit. We see coming off a of respawn. Slain not gonna go into 1v1 against Delirium. Doesn't wanna force that. So the big fight as two cap comes out for this Sharks with Lasers team. Gonna happen over here. Lord getting on top of Bear. Bear taking down to about 10, 20% HP. Has to be very careful as Time Warp. That could be yeah, huge if they're able up. to make good use of that. Yeah, he's gonna, his heal's coming back up right now, so he's going to be able to full heal. And if he can keep that pressure on that body, they'll, have, they'll take that on no problem. He can actually probably try to burn Lord right now, but he's got those wounds up right now. He There's a time, time warp. warp on himself. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that one. Play. Yeah, it was, it was kind of defensive. He needs to stay in that and let his teammates kind of pick them off. Uh, trying to bail out. He's got no heal right now. Mackin's trying to get him some healing, but that was actually pretty nice. Now Moops actually pluses his fight as mid didn't go so well for him. He's about to be taken down. How does he heal up in about five seconds? One meditation left for him if he wants to use it there. He he should be okay with that heal up. Um, as he is still being focused down by Swift Tomahawk, who's running for his life from Laser Lord, who's gonna try and take him into the downstate. Now Bear's the main focus. Bear taking in the downstate. Shadow Refuge coming out there for Laser Lord as Slim takes him down with that oh, bird man. guard. So many people on red going down right now. They have to build to their to their to mid, and they're gonna get the decap on home. So they should just play two points right now. Look at that Condi bomb coming out there from a delirium. Slim has nothing to deal with it. Absolutely nothing. His Connie clears up in about one second, but it's gonna be too late. Literally nothing 
He is able to take out Delirium, but Lord Earl yeah, should be able to get no that rest. Yeah, uh, Swift Tomahawk still in the down state there. He finally Red taken out. So Red Team, point. despite having a two cap, you know, they've just lost two members of their team. Blue Team could take advantage of this, uh, especially with, you know, a 5v3 around the map. It could. Uh, I really think the people, the red players right now, should really go to mid right now because they're going to have respawns coming up. They're going to be able to watch their home, but uh, they need to get to mid right now before the people from far get there first. Uh, and I, I hope that, yeah, barely left the portal. Okay, so. It's going to be a 1v2. Mac and can't more. allow for that decap to happen at the midpoint. Pop, stab, lightning flash up. If he happens to get off, knock, knocked off point, has it up. Has to use immediately if he's knocked off point. That's like one or two ticks. But take a look at what's going on. Moobs is actually about to be Moves. taking out 700 health. Nice in that was a good oh. involve. Actually, that was a really good involve by uh. By, oh man, uh, he did JIs onto the point. That was huge. Onto Mac Gan who gets spiked down. That was a huge play from Moobs. Blue team, yeah, or red team, big. not able to kill him off there uh, as Mac Gan taken down. There's the Shadow Rift coming out from Swift Tomahawk, but Moobs coming in with that oh whirling God, wrath, gonna Moobs obliterate so much them. They had the portal too. If they if they coordinate that a little bit well, they could have portaled out the the Ellie before he died. Uh, but Tomahawk trying to get Slim, out of here right now. Sling going in for the res on the Mac Gan though. No cleave coming out from the blue team over here as Moob's taken into the Moob's down state. Now Laser Lord's about to be going into the down too. state. Laser has 800, 900 health here in stealth. Will he be able to stay alive? He's in a stealth right now. He needs to withdraw. Oh, nice. He gets oh, the Slade knows he's there. He's going to be able to get out, I think. I don't know. He refuge coming up. Oh, oh he bugged. He's port. Whoa. Oh, my God. He just bugged out there. Is I that, saw that. Was that lag or what? Because he's porting all over the place. Uh, not exactly sure, but that is detrimental to them taking a lead, you know, a bigger Just lead because like Oral Delirium about to be taken out now too. Point. If they're able to take him out and before the decap, I'm not so sure on this move from the red team's Ellie Matkin moving over to this hinge point. I mean, taking he's going to be forcing two people there. Uh, that, that's not a bad thing, but he's going to get plus off respawn. The red team yeah. really should have went to the mine point, I think. Uh, they do yeah, have I a 3v1 that, moving over here. over here. A little bit slow. Uh, but nonetheless, that's how they're going to get back into the game, holding on a two cap. And it's getting down to that point where if they lose another big team fight, that's game over. Yeah, that's game. And I, I mean, it would have been a good thing if the Ellie went over when there was a decap point and just tried to stall. But they had the full cap. Oh, Arrow tried to sneak past them again, but Lord's right on him. So he's not gonna be, he he was actually looking really comfortable in his one well, He won that one earlier. one earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he's going to fight this. This is actually probably going to turn out to be a weakness for Red Team or for Blue Team not being able to one v one those those Ellies. Like I don't think anything. Uh, they've got. I mean, they've got some person forward. running Ellie. Yeah, I mean, they, they can they can stalemate it, but I don't think they have anyone who can, like, just win it. I mean, the Necro could, but it's going to be really tough. I don't think they, they want to, you know... I mean, that 2-cap right, right now, right all now. Red Team really doesn't need to focus on that. They've got their they've got their burn guard sitting at the beach waiting for respawns at that mine point. Probably a good place for him to be. They just want to kind of stalemate. They don't need to be on the offensive here. As long as they play defensive, make sure no one dies on their team, they're going to be back in this game in just a matter of minutes. Yeah, they need to be really careful that they're watching their points. They need to keep numbers and watch their points because they're leaving mine wide open right now. Unless, unless Barely has a portal on it right now, he actually could have a portal on it right now. He has a portal. Oh, down. look at the decap coming out here from Mackin. Oh, no huge. one's actually paying attention here. For, but mid. the decap at the midpoint, they allow for that to trade. happen. It's going to be a huge trade. Delirium actually taken down below the keep here. Moves going in for the res. Will be enough. Moves. Look at the birds oh, taking on him. Able to cleanse a few of them. But Slynn keeping up the deeps. There's a time warp coming out there from barely. Coming out too late. A little bit late there, as you just said. Uh, Blue team able to cap the mid, but we're going to see caps on the sides going in favor of the red team. Trying to get back in this game. Down 40 points. Look at the birds. Delirium taken out. There's a shadow refuge. And just bail. They need to finish this body and bail to their points right now because they're. This is dangerous. Splin's down too. There's so much on the ground here. You can't even tell <laughs> who's actually down. <laughs> yeah. Laser Lord looked like he just uh, sh shadow shot forward. He's bugging out, I think. Yeah, he is yeah. really bagging. He's he's having a lot Airful of light right zero, now. Excuse me. Uh, but will he be able to hold off Mackin? Is Mackin able? Oh, nice lightning flash. Able to get on the point just in time. But Delirium going to come off of respawn plus his fight. Red team need to send support here. Uh, Mackin, I'll have to see how many cooldowns. Doesn't have anything left now as he uses cleansing fire. You know, Mackin could stall this, and they could have it on a on, uh, an outnumbered fight. Oh, he's going to be taken down. Ah, uh, yes. that that's unfortunate. If he could Look at the midpoint. Some person actually taken in the down state. Lord Earl going to be the only thing left. He's actually not going to get on the point. There's a decap. Red team taking the lead. It's working out for them. It's really working out for them. They got to watch the bosses. I think Lord Lord and who is that? Moose might be going for the boss yep. now. Yeah, they are. Getting that full cap on their home. They do have some person down there. Aerodynamics get, getting that cap. They might actually choose to clean up mid and just if go for If they lose, well. Chief, they're going to lose Chieftain. That's just okay like though that. because yeah. uh, actually no, not with Lord Earl piecing out and no one. Oh, respawn oh, coming wait, out there. The will be enough. Mac can might be able to catch him. Mackin has oh, oh, FGS. No, they're, they're gonna be able to catch him. I think they're gonna be able to catch him. They should be able to, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that that, oh, that was a nice stab. wall with the, the yep. armor of Earth coming out there from Mac and was able to. But look, that. we're gonna see moves probably in Laser Lord. They're gonna stealth up, go for Spawn here, but we already it. have Slint on Spawn here. Who's gonna get it? The Burn Guard with 11, 14 stacks of burns. Oh man, they're Or moves, look oh, at the, the burns! Oh. oh my god, nice burst coming in from Barely. I think was able to take that. That oh was just, did you see how fast it died from those burns? <laughs> Moves in Laser that Lord, game. barely able to get there in time, but weren't able to secure the kill as Bear came in there, like he said, able to sleep up that one. That was it. That was the game right there. That was, that boss kill was the game. That was That huge. really was. That was, that was game, obviously game changing as good guys win points. Going to be winning that first match and a stylish comeback there as they were down, you know, about, well, I want to say maybe 75 points, maybe 90 points. Near the yeah, beginning they were of that game. Down, that game, yeah. I mean, I think I think it was a smart play for for Moobs and uh, and Lord to go for that boss. That was good awareness on their part. Um, it was just you know unfortunate that Bear came in at the same time and was just able to get that little bit of burst at the end uh, to finish it off. So, I mean, good games played by both teams. Uh, really, really close games. A really close game, rather. Yeah, that was intense. You know, some some weeks we get super close matchups and some weeks we just get stomped. So it's definitely nice to see. Uh, you know, the first set was definitely really close. The second set is really close, and I can only hope for a third set in the finals to be just as close. Uh, take a look at what's going on on the other side of the bracket, though. It looks like Theory of Relativity, a team that, you know, has kind of been doing all right in recent weeks, actually making it into the semifinals, doing pretty well, uh, actually beating best team South Africa, <laughs> as well as Soak. 2.0. Soak actually played in the ESL yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, losing to best team North Africa. They're in the semifinals. So, you know, those two teams really, I don't think, are super strong. But we'll have to see who's on the roster because sometimes these teams can come out of nowhere and just really surprise us. I believe a couple weeks ago we had uh, Ethereal Guardians have just an amazing run to the finals and ended up losing like a 2-1 really, really, really close really match. Cool. So, excited to see who's going to be moving on. But still, we've got this one... I'm not so sure. I, right, that could have went either way, obviously. I think that boss kill, like Moobs just said, kind of... It's not entirely, not entirely RNG, RNG, but it is to the point where you don't know what the other people are about to do. It's kind of luck in a way. You can yeah, coordinate I mean, it, but I think it's, it's, kind it's of so interesting. difficult. It's interesting watching this uh, as opposed to like ESL because usually everyone knows like the ESL teams and knows what to expect from them, but like... I mean, maybe it's just me because I'm it's my first time like even watching mm -hmm. uh, and casting. It's just kind of cool to see like these close games and just like I don't know what to expect from these teams. Pretty exciting yeah. to watch. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of a nice thing, especially with uh, new teams coming in it. I mean, Sharks with Lasers isn't new, but this is a new roster. We haven't, I mean, we haven't ever seen these guys in it. Obviously, yeah. we know them, but uh, even for that matter, there are obviously like some upsets that come, and uh, I define an upset in AG by you know how long a team's been playing in the AG tournament and like a new team coming in I've never seen never seen all five people them beating him and it's kind of like wow you know it's nice to see these new teams and we had 16 teams in today's tournament and some people don't who don't watch AG who've never seen it before don't know how many teams on it they see 16 they're like are you serious I wish we had that many in ESL and yeah we I have definitely like wish six I know we, <laughs> we used like to we used to get 16 <laughs> like 14 15 16 back when llamas were first announced yeah there was that many teams but Hopefully, with Hopefully the these guys get up there, yeah. Yeah, the I mean, that's kind of what AG is about. We're trying to move teams who are doing well in AG up to ESL. And I believe next week uh, oh, we no, are going to have points. one of the better Seems AG teams theirs. actually participate in it. But take a look at this game number two. Uh, take a look at the split. Looks like three-point push coming out for both of these teams. We have Noobs and Lord. They have been running around, running around all ball. last game, and now they're going to be doing it once again here. What else do we got going on? Uh, looking like Slins capping the home, his home node and moves and laser coming to finish him like or to to burst him like you said. Uh, Macken's gonna be holding that two v one at mid and I think that at far red team's gonna be able to get that gank. I don't know if they let me check if they left the portal at mid. Yeah, I think barely left the portal at mid. They need to secure this kill. I think Earl's gonna be able to get out, which is really unfortunate. Use that burning retreat to get out. He's gonna go straight to mid. That was a good uh, that was a good escape by by Earl. And Slynn is gonna die if he doesn't get out. Mackin needs to keep help, fighting. though. Mackin's in a 1v3 situation. Oh, the burst coming out there. That was big. That was a 1v4 as Earl plus Just that one. Like that, Blue team now, the portal coming out. Point. The portal coming out might save his life. But no one. Oh, okay, there we go. Like now it, they're going for the res. Oh, yeah. That was a little bit too late as Lord's coming in right now. Oh, it's gonna be enough. It's that, gonna be is. That, was, that was actually a good res. I mean, it sucks because we saw an ESL yesterday. And that was the same thing there. Bear went in for the res. 
and the body's right on top of it. His interact is the same thing as his res, so unfortunately for him, he yeah. went right back through it. I we know saw that yesterday. Than probably everyone. <laughs> we saw it yesterday in the ESL where someone went through, the portal expired, and they could never go back. It was pretty uh, funny. Yep. Happens to the best of us. Sound like you have personal experience with yeah, that one. Do, Taking I a look do. over here at the quarry. Sun actually got res. That is a nice time warp from Bear. Uh, last game, we really didn't see a whole lot of time warps come out from him that were really effective. Uh, yeah. Midpoint Mid definitely going in favor of this blue team. Red team able to map things up over the quarry. Point. Waterfall kind of going to be the outlier here. I'm uh, red team. about to get out red with his life. I, it's point. kind of unfortunate for Red team. Oh, Blip to staying on him, though. He might actually get this kill shadow shots to him. Ah, uh, but dodges the next shadow shot. Oh. Does he have enough to get away? Oh, Red nice. Lightning's out of here. Be able to get out. Uh, I don't know. He has one or two minutes in about two seconds. He needs oh, to clean some birds. They need oh. to cleave that body. They need to cleave that body right now. That is some pretty darn good cleave coming out there from Aerodynamic. Yeah, uh, person, person jumps off. Now Tomahawk going oh, in for the res. Right. He should be able to. Yep, yeah, there's no way they're getting that one. Now Barely Salty is under a lot of pressure. As a mantra up if he wants to use it. Look at the Connie sticking on him. Nice Connie cleanse coming almost, out from him. Almost got the decap there. Wow, that was really. That would have been. That would have been huge. But Barely gets taken down by all that burst. Look at Moops. And Moops has done such a great job this, this oh. tournament of, of cleaving, despite, you know, being down quite a bit. He has done a great yeah, job that, of cleaving. That was really good cleaving, and it barely actually ported it, too. So using his autos, he was able to pinpoint where the where uh, barely ported it, too. That was good by Moops. Yeah, Moops um, able to secure that stomp. Now it looks like, oh, man, uh, Swift Tomahawk all on top of Moops. Moops not really able to do a whole lot about it. Had his plague partner, that would be Delirium, sitting on top of him trying to blind all the attacks coming out from Swift wasn't enough. Now he's under a lot of pressure by Laser Lord. The two cap for this red team gonna start they to build to them a out. very, very minor lead. Yeah, they need they need to build to their points. Like they're kinda wasting their time in mid. It's not capped. If they got that decap, it would have been huge, but they do not have the decap. They need to build to their points. They need to reinforce far soon. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people coming. There's gonna be a big fight at far right now. Yeah, this is where it's, you know, everything's going to go down. We got about a 40-point lead in favor of this red the team. Mackin, on once back again, down that early lead once in again, he's fight. in a 1v3 situation. The red, so the rest of his team's just hanging, hanging back off the node, skirmishing. There's no reason you need to do that. You hold the node. You really need to get on top of it. So Mackin out of that fight. Now Delirium, Delirium get pressured by Swift Tomahawk, has Shadow Refuge, is going to be taken oh, down. Actually taken threw down it down, me. but... Wait, wait, can you port in it? Yeah, he ported it to it. That was, that was a good play. Is it going to be enough? Uh, oh, Bear, nice that res. He needs, to, he needs to kind of blow out of here right now. Blue team He's get the two cap though. Um, they, that's what they kind of needed to make sure Red Team didn't get too big of a lead. Delirium still under a lot of pressure, has 100% shroud, trying to get, make sure he can peel for Lord, who has nothing left except for his Signet of Agility. Withdraw up in a couple seconds. Is he going to be taken oh, down? Swift Does get taken Lord. down. Yeah, Lord's down up top. I think Swift's trying to port him here now. Yeah, yeah, Swift, Swift gets up there, even though uh, Barely's already up there. They're going to get that but kill. Look, Slim's the down three too. cap is going to come out for this blue team as Slim taking it into the downstate, you know. It was just poor rotations for the red team right there. Yeah. They just lost just Waterfall because they couldn't help out Mackin. Then they can't rotate out of the midpoint because we see the uh, decap coming out there. But now we're going to see double decap coming out on the sides as five members of this blue team are all at the midpoint except one coming off a respawn now. Delirium oh, taking it into the downstate. Oh, they actually down too. Wow, this is a huge outnumbered fight for blue, or for red, and they still managed to get moves down. They're probably going to get that res. Uh, Swift gets taken down too. You had that burn on him. Right, Port's up though. I don't know if anyone sees him. Oh, uh, no, Lord Earl, Earl sees him. Oh, um, did you see that? Here comes the rest for Aerodynamic. Nope. Ah, he gets but the decap the might happen. No, it does not. Red Slim, trying to get the decap. Red team takes sides just once like again. That. Yeah, that, just like that. The lead, like, but kind of poor rotations for both teams. Kinda. I mean, they're both just swapping the two points. And Lord's going to get that decap right now. Unless Aerodynamic can get to that point. Maybe he has Lightning Flash. Swift no. Tomahawk oh, he, able to take down that? Delirium. Gets a stop there. That's going to be a good pickup. Now Lord is in a 1v1 against Aerodynamic. Arrow made it! Wow! That was awesome! Well, Arrow, Arrow made it! The last second with, it, with his FGS. And now Laser Lord, look at the burns! Burn Moop's gonna come in, out. going in for the res. Uh, uh, nice, you know, attempt at an updraft from some person. Really doesn't land it there. Uh, Laser <laughs> Lord not gonna be able to get up. So that is the kill for them. Now some person, what's his next move? He's gonna pop FGS, trying to get back to the midpoint. That's kind of where they're gonna regroup. But if this red team forces them there, if they can hold them in and make sure they don't get Oops. decaps, that's going to be huge for them to take the victory. And yeah, Moops now got really stomped really by Aerodynamic. Two members off the map for them as Laser Lord coming off a respawn. Yeah, I think I think the uh, the red team just needs Ellie's on both points and then just have their DPS stealth up and uh, rotate accordingly with the portal mid. Um, Earl's looking really low right now. If, if barely switched to him, you could probably take him out right now. They might get the decap. The decap coming out almost at mid. It's like one tick one away. One tick away. If they're able to get that, that Delirium. would be absolutely huge. It's bursted by, Burley, uh, by Barely and, uh, and Swift.
You know, this is kind of a different sassy, or not sassy, but I want to call him sassy boys because I saw a bear. This is kind of a different uh, red team that we saw from the last game at the start, at least. We're seeing a lot of good burst play come out from bear and swift onto players, and they're actually finishing the fights for the most part and having, I don't know, they did have a poor rotation which allowed three cap for the red team, or blue team, excuse me, but... You know, they've got back into it now, holding the two caps, starting to build up to 100 point lead as we see Earl actually finally taking in the down state. Bear's about to be taken down himself. Will it be enough? I'm not sure. There's a time warp coming out for Bear. I think Barely actually should have peeled out of that fight. He was really low and he turned right back to the fight. I guess it kind of worked out for him because he, he had that time warp. But if, if, they, if they decided to switch to him, he would have been in, he would have been in big trouble. I mean, Moves, moves is down, down. Yeah, Moves yeah. is down, but the decap coming out for Laser Lord. We do see some person taken out at the midpoint. Will it be enough to get that decap? That would be huge. I don't think yeah, so, as we're going to see, cap. I don't know, it depends, Laser Lord, what's his next move going to be? Yeah, yeah, he probably shouldn't be on this point, gets out of this place, there's no doubt he, he doesn't want to stay there. He might jump on the mid and contest it. Nah, he's going to stick nah, he's going to run away now. So we're going to see a 2 cap coming out for the red team with the decap node at the mid, uh, possibly uh, 3 cap good. from this red team, there's no reason red Lord wants to take on a 1v1 against point. Bear, or maybe he does, we'll have well, to see, nice backstab! Gets there to contest it, wow. 7k backstab onto Bear, doesn't even see it coming. Gonna get help, some help from Swift Tomahawk. Now Laser Lord's under a lot of pressure. Look at the regroup oh, the coming lockdown. out. From, look at the regroup coming out from Blue Team though. Yeah. Oh, and nice port stomp by Barely. Uh, secures the stomp at mid. He's gonna maybe be able to get that full cap arrows at mid right now. Watching probably two points right now. They've got no portal up yet. Barely might wait for it uh, at mid. I mean, they killed Slain, but that was a pretty good hold coming out from the Blue Team. I mean, Red Team. They they held. Four members of this blue team off at this waterfall node, yeah, and kind of combined them to it to the point where they're at a 150 point blue lead with the two cap. I think we're going to see game three. Yeah, I mean, barely had a really nice burst play right now on moves. Uh, moves at the get out of the fight, and as I say that, that portal comes back in. That portal, that two foot <laughs> portal. That was about 15 discerns right there. I want to make sure he. Uh, <laughs> he needs I like to use that discern measurement. It's definitely the best <laughs> use of a discern. Uh, I think Mackin might go for that decap right now. Yeah, I think he's gonna get it. Um, they need to just keep fighting mid right now and let Mackin do his thing. Cause they're yeah, in a really yeah, that's game. That, right there's no way that this blue team. I don't think they're. There's absolutely no way, especially with Delirium just coming off of respawn. Laser Lord getting pretty low right here. Yeah, two cap. This could this be a three cap right here, end. and you know, a 200 point lead just a matter of seconds. We're gonna be going to a game number three with the that. I, you know, that was a lot closer. You know, a, a lot more dominant coming out for the red team that game. We're going to game number three easily here. Actually, no. It was actually 1-0 in favor of GGWP. Okay. I thought that, for some reason, I thought Sharks had won that first game. So we're, that's that's game over. We're going to be I seeing did. good guys win points moving on into the finals. I mean, that was more, way more dominant. Obviously, it didn't come down to RNG, uh, like, you know, Svani or Chieftain aren't RNG necessarily, but it didn't come down to that almost luck factor. That was just yeah. total domination from this red team. Yeah, I, th I think I think red's gonna be looking pretty strong on Kylo. Oh, they're not moving on to Kylo because they've won 2-0. Mm -hmm. I for some reason thought Sharks have won game number one, but uh, that's a 2-0 for good I guys thought, win points. I thought Sharks won game number one too. Oh, nope. that's right. Laser because Lord. Li yep. Yeah, Laser was AFK at the start, right? Uh, no, that, that, was that, was in, that was that was that was in the. Uh... That was in the game before. Whoops. Yeah, that was yeah. in the set before. So there we have it. We're gonna see. Good guys win points. Take that set 2-0. Uh, remember, because Moobs actually, he went, remember the burn stacks that came in for the red team and they got the kill from Bear on Tisfani at the last second on Forest? Yeah, that was huge. And they weren't able to do it on this map. That was just really dominant by them. Definitely. So any lost thoughts in that series before we go ahead into a break? Uh, I definitely think that the burst was there in the second game for sure. Like, I just saw, like... I mean, I know that Mantra build is a bit outdated, but it, I think it still does its job, like, decently enough, because it still does... It does its job, but not as frequently. So I think it was doing... It was doing work, and they were able to... Uh, like, they were swapping, like, two two caps a lot, uh, but at that end there, Red just really took, uh, took advantage of it and just kept it. Definitely, Definitely so. So close. we're going to be having good guys win points. Moving on into the finals. Uh, we're not exactly sure on our next victor or who's going to be moving on to the finals to face them, but hopefully it's going to be as close as our last two sets were. Uh, of course, guys, don't go anywhere. Remember, we do have that giveaway at the end of the stream, so we're going to go on a short break, and we'll be back in hopefully just a few minutes. The truth is running in our blood. 
The answers are lying here within
Alright guys, we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at our other semi-final matchup that's underway right now. We didn't want to sit out an entire match. So, just taking a brief look at what we've got here for both these teams. Uh, Soak 2.0 is actually over on the red. Blue team is Theory of Relativity. Soak is actually up 1-0 in the series, but uh, Theory of Relativity, you know, they've got about, a, you know, about an 80-point lead right here. Soak definitely not out of it. This is not the Soak that we're normally used to seeing. They've got Beyond B on their team. Uh, Spyran, aka Nicked, is the person who really leads it. I'm not, I've really seen a whole lot of these players over on Soaked, uh, nor a whole lot of them on Theory of Relativity. So, still looks like a pretty close matchup. What do you think's going on here? Yeah, I literally just tuned in and I just see destruction by Blue at mid. Like they're they're just cleaning up house at mid. Uh, they just uh, they ha they're capping uh, waterfall right now, and they just got decapped at at uh, Quarry. By B on B. So he's gonna get that cap. Uh, I think Blue should be able to get to their home and reinforce that. I don't know why where, where everyone's at. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, just a little history on this team. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to go into a match mid match and just see what's going on. But Theory of Relativity played in this tournament quite a bit. Uh, Soak is a team that's played in you know numerous ESLs. Hasn't done the greatest, but I mean they've been trying for the most part. Uh, this obviously is not. The normal Soak roster we're used to seeing, Beyond is usually not on it. I think he's actually just subbing uh, for a member who would actually DC, not able to get back into the game. Uh, but about a 100 point lead here for EMC, that would be Theory of Relativity, who are looking to get onto a game number three. They've got a couple members I've seen before playing this tournament. I think this is actually their full roster, but not, they're doing a pretty good job after being down 1-0 in the set. Looking to take game number two, move on to Kylo. Over here at the Waterfall, it looks like this is the next big fight for these teams. No one really down for either team, so pretty even matchups going here. I think Layden about to be taking in downstate. Going to L go, uh, jumping on LA or AL, A La Men. I don't know how to pronounce that. But, Wait, which uh, one are we looking at? The Men oh, where he uh, just got bursted the, the by the A La Men? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with these names. Yeah, um, I mean, these aren't players we're typically used to seeing. Uh, I know Stocks, he actually used to play for ASAP Cert uh, a couple months ago. Other than that, Beyond, I mean, um, if anybody would be familiar, if there's anybody to be familiar with, it's probably Beyond. Yeah, Beyond is the only one I know. Um, but yeah, getting back into it, Beyond, is, or uh, Speedy Log is actually down like literally right on his gate. And that is not a good place to be down because your teammates like can't res you or they might be ported in. Uh, Herp Derp actually goes down too. Herp but, Derp, man, this guy. <laughs> Herp Derp, I actually used to play on a team with Herp Derp back uh, after launch. I used to play on a team with him just like a couple months after launch uh, with a couple buddies. <laughs> I'm excited to see him back in the scene playing with this team. Uh, you know, <laughs> especially after not seeing him for a couple of years. But uh, yeah, that was a uh, kind of a big wipe coming out there. The red team able to get a two cap after they get that cap onto the waterfall. Coming off a respawn, speedy lock over the D cap over at the quarry. It's going to be pursued by Trembles with fire. Will be enough, though. I'm not so Trembles sure. Make it. He's got, he's got his RTL. Yeah, yeah he, okay. he'll make it. Um, that was actually a huge momentum shift. Like, like, we just saw blue wipe up mid, and then they got obliterated by red. Yeah, uh, now look at Herp Derp. Herp Derp did take him into the town state. Sorry not to laugh Herp at that Derp. name. Uh, the res coming out there from Speedy Lock, but the stop from the Ayla Menth gets the stomp there. There's the decap before. Mark Thane able to get onto that point. So two cap and a decap coming out here for this red team. Looking to, you know, get back into this game. They are definitely in it now, especially after mopping up multiple fights, especially with Speedy Lock going into the downstate. Looks like there was well, a quickness res attempt though. from Mark they, they Thane. They're making the res on Speedy. And they get the res on uh, Mend instead. Lock gets cleaved out. And right now, I mean, they're not really trying to push to the side nodes at all. And there's no one really what actually. No, Trembles is kind of looking at Quarry right now, and there's a 1v1 still going on between... See, Wizard needs to leave far right now, because he's in, he's in a DDLA 1v1. I mean, he's about to get plus by Herpter, but he's been here way too long on a point that he doesn't own. So, he's just been wasting time for his team, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah definitely like so. And, right and I mean, he might be, he's going to get the decap because of the regroup coming out from the blue team, but the red team definitely back in this game. We see Alamed, uh going in for the kill on, or the Alamed. 
Man, I'm not good. Well, they're going for <laughs> yeah, a Lord Rush right now. Look at this. Support a Lord Rush. They want to oh, end man. this game right Blue now. No one for the Blue. Actually, two members. I mean, Mark Thane being there is definitely essential to them getting, uh, you know, holding off this Lord Rush. But he doesn't have a whole lot of support for that Lord. And beyond B, all of them are already on top of this Lord about 75 I HP. I think Red definitely has this. There's no yeah. nothing stopping them. That's going to be game over. We're going to see. The stab coming out to the Lord. He's going to get his heal. He got his heal off. Still but, at about 25% I mean, HP. I don't think it's going to be enough. That, that burn, is yeah. going to be game number two, going in favor of Soak. Moving There's on into the finals. The world. Soak 2.0, <laughs> going to be moving on into Just the finals like to take on uh, a, a good game point. or good guys. GGWP. Can't remember the iteration of their name. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crushing. Like, uh, Blue, Blue's doing pretty well. Uh, looked like they were going to probably take it into game three, but that was a really strong regroup I read, and they just, they never let up. They just completely used that lead and took the Lord. I didn't even, I didn't even think they were going to go for Lord. They caught me off, off guard with that. Yeah, I yeah. saw that portal come down, and I'm like, okay, maybe he's just getting it. No, he didn't even throw the portal, and I just thought, maybe he's just going to get the, you know, the gate down, maybe go for something later, but that was a really, really good coordinated play. I'm excited to see them take on GGWP. Uh, what are your thoughts on that matchup before we go to a, uh, another short break here? <laughs> uh... Just happy to see portal being used. <laughs> well, you know, that's probably the best portal we've seen. Uh, the only one that's... I mean, we saw one okay one coming out from there. there. But that yeah. was definitely uh, a, a portal that actually made a play there. And, yeah. you know, contributed to the win for them. But we are, again, going to go on a very short break. Hopefully it's not going to be more than a few minutes as we have to get guys into the arena and ready up. So please don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back in just a few.
Welcome back, everybody, to AG number 32. We have our final matchup ready for you guys. It's going to be Soak 2.0 up against Good Guys Win Points, otherwise known as What Are We Doing, guys? Really looking forward to this matchup. I do want to say once again, guys, after this set has ended, we will have that giveaway. It's going to be a skin giveaway uh, from my own pocket. So we'll have to see what that's going to uh, be. It's going to be around 100 gold. So. Uh, definitely, definitely want to once. be around for that. Around you have to be following the channel. want to mention that. Uh, I'll mention it again before we get that giveaway started. But, right, but let's not waste any more time. Let's time. take a let's look take at a look. what we've got as Zeromus is echoing all over the place. Oops. Take a look at these guys. Uh, over here on the red, we do have GGWP up against over on the blue. That would be Soak 2.0. Let's go ahead and take a look at the builds. Zeromus, take us away with the red team. All right, so like we went over earlier, Barely's going. Uh, he's playing with the old mantra build, uh, like inspiration with the heal mantra and the daze mantra. And like we said before, he's uh, it's still effective, but it's just slightly uh, he can't use it as as often as uh, you could b uh, before the nerf. Um, going to arrow, he's just playing Selly LADD. Uh, Slin playing Burn Guard, which has been really effective against anyone using Vamp and just effective in general. Um, Swift playing, I believe he's playing Shadow Arts. Yeah, he's playing Shadow Arts DP uh, with Vamp. And Matt Gen playing DD Cellielli once again. Yeah, they didn't really switch anything up. Uh, Slin still playing that Burn Guard. Burn Taking a look at it. Soak, we didn't, really, we didn't actually see their builds. This is the first time we've seen them all tournament long. Uh, the Alamenth playing the Mesmer for this team with the Great Sword. Sword Focus with those Vamp Runes and Zerker Amulet. Uh, playing PU Mesmer with Sigma. He meant Sword of Torch. Sword, uh, sword, sword Torch, torch excuse me, yeah, Sword Torch, <laughs> yeah. running with that Signet of Humility. Uh, this is a, I don't want to say, this is a, a bit more popular build that we've been seeing. For sure, For the yeah. most part. Uh, take a look at Trembles next, he's playing the first of two DDLs with the Holbeck Rune, Selly, uh, Arcane, Water, and Fire. Jax is the second one, he is running Arcane, Water, and Fire, probably the exact same build. Uh, Stocks playing the Guardian for this team, running Medigarb with the Great Sword. Looks like Scepter Focus for himself with Marauder, Packerns. Pretty standard Medigard setup for himself. And finally, Beyond B, the most recognizable name on this roster for sure, playing DP with Vampirins, Marauder, Amulet. Going to be playing that Shadow Arts variant of this build. Uh, so pretty standard stuff coming up from them, uh, especially that Mesmer build a little bit more to the norm than Bear's build for that matter. So as it is, like you said way earlier, a little bit out of date. Uh, but, you know, he, he, was, he did some work in, in the games. Perhaps could do some more with a PU build, but we'll have to see how it works out for him if he's able to lock somebody down like uh, all, the all the or beyond. Uh, but take oh, a look at these guys. Even. Yeah. What, what, what are your predictions for this setup? As I, I mean, I didn't tell you this, but all AG finals are Temple to Forest to Legacy. So Temple gives a nice, you know, difference in, in the map setup. I just realized this is a mirror comp, except that Slyn is running Burn Guard and not DPS card. So, that is and, true. You know, the difference in a little bit of the Mesmer builds, but overall, it's still power. That This is going to be a really interesting game. I don't know what my predictions are yet. I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Red, just because I, I know these players a little bit more, and I I think they were really confident in their I, wins. I, I like... I don't want to say team comp, because the comp's not any different class-wise, yeah. but I like the setup better from the blue team, but... I think red team's a little bit more experienced. I mean, I yeah. like the the meta or m more meta like Mesmer build on top of um, Stocks playing a Medi Guard rather than Burn Guard. Burn Guard. I mean, we saw Frey play it uh, for a while there in the WTS, and he did work with it. And I think it can be done well, but it's definitely not the most optimal build, I wouldn't say. Uh, but I, I, I mean, it's not like this is top tier play by any means. So it can work, and he can afford to take it. So I'm still going to be putting my money on the red team here. Yeah, and actually, that burn guard, like you said, it, it works a lot better in a little bit lower tier, uh, because just there's just a shock factor when you get hit with that burn. The players uh, don't react that, as quickly. I mean, that's just yeah. kind of the difference between a big one of the big differences between high tier and low to mid tier, which is obviously what AG caters to. So, just waiting on these guys to ready up a couple members for this uh, blue team as we get this game number one underway. Like I said before, it goes Temple to Forest to Legacy. Only a few times we've actually seen it take the Legacy. Uh, I'm surprised. We haven't seen a Kylo game today. We haven't seen a... I mean, we haven't actually streamed a game that's went to Kylo, which is, that actually usually happens. So, 
a little bit ahead of schedule for the stream, but take a look at the opening splits as we get game number one underway in this best of three finals matchup for weekly number 32. It looks like we're going to be having uh, probably some stealth play coming out for this red team. Swift Tomahawk looks to be throwing down the SR. Very odd spot to throw down the SR. Usually it's on the bridge or a little bit further, but they're looking to go into the midpoint and burst somebody down. Yeah, they're having both always kept the kept their home. And uh, Beyond and Lament, looking, they're coming around uh, red side. They're looking for, I think they're looking for Bailey right now. And they jump on and the one shot wow. comes out Blue for Blue Team. team. I, I saw that point. coming too. And they need to cleave that out. The res Ferocity coming out though from red. That was super quick really on that res. That. that was a really fast res. Now that, the that, all of meth is super pop. low right now. It gets his heal off. Should be okay for the time being. Slint under a lot of pressure as well. Doesn't have a whole lot left. RF coming out from him. Uh, who's, he still seems to be the main target, and no one bears now under a lot of pressure. Look at the damage coming out. The Olimeth on top of him gets his heal off. Or actually got interrupted when he was trying to channel his heal. We do see Stocks actually taken down at the midpoint. That's a huge pickup as he was, you know, kind of a, the person who was sitting on the point for them. Yeah, they were focusing Barely a lot. Barely got pressured out of that fight. He was actually forced to use his portal to get away. And while the DPS were on them, or were, were on him, they weren't able to kill him. While uh, the the blue or the red DPS were able to kill Stocks on mid, so that was that was really huge. That was good survivability. Jax uh, going up for the decap. Will Jax be able to get that decap? He does get the decap over there. We're going to see Arrow in a one v two situation. But if anyone from this red team, if you want somebody in a one v two, it's going to be Arrow. I think. Uh, he's had some nice 1v2s, but he's going to get some help from Slin and Bear. They're going to make this a 3v2 as Red Team does claim that midpoint. We're going to see if 1v1 going on there at the mid. It looks like Thiefy Thief. No, Thiefy Mez. Swift Tomahawk able to take out the all Amenth as, uh, you know, we see Beyond B actually bailing out of the temple. No, going to go to the mid and try to take on a 1v1. Actually going in for the res. Can you make it that res? Actually, oh, he, just, he, he decides to switch on Thief. Might go for the res again. I believe he's running Shadow Res, right? Wow. He's just going back and forth. Off. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good idea. Putting the pressure on the Thief. And then coming back, getting that stealth off, putting the pressure on the thief. But aerodynamic, I think it... Him up. Wow, that was that a good was... strategy. That was really good by Beyond. That was actually... That was a really strong play. Yeah, unfortunately for him... His uh, team is... Yeah, his team isn't right doing a whole lot right now. And I mean, gets obliterated by <laughs> barely... Oh my god. The unfortunately, I missed that. Showing... But take a look the over at the altar. I just want to point out, we got a 2v2 blue able to finally get out that altar point. But mid was decapped in the process of that fight. Like you said, Beyond was just obliterated there. Now the all man does get, oh man, he just gets oh absolutely destroyed by Swift Tomahawk. And I believe that was barely on top of him. They've got a decent lead right here, looking to take this two cap, uh, move maybe into the temple, or excuse me, over to the altar node, maybe put some pressure out, but we've got the first buff up in about 45 seconds here. Did you see it's that? It's looking like uh, Jack is kind of like running around uh, on the enemy side. They might be able to get a quick gank on him here. Barely and, barely and Swift might be able to take him out right now. He's kind of out of position. He's got... Kind of little cooldowns too. His blink coming up. Oh, but that heart seeker is able to take him out, and that's gonna be that's gonna be huge. Beyond gets that. Uh, gets Beyond getting no. Mid. Oh wow. That was nice ports coming out there from Slim. There's the shadow refuge from. Oh my goodness. And the time warp coming out. Absolutely oh, a blip. That, that time warp wasn't even needed. I don't think that was just like added effects. Now stalker. Uh, that's gonna be stocks actually get, about to be taken down. Able to get his uh, RF. Keeping them alive. We've got the first stillness buff up in about 10 seconds here. That's really going to favor the red team, except they've got no one there. The all Ament is actually going for the decap over at the temple. We're going to see Trembles go for it as well. I don't think they know the buff's up. They don't even know the buff's It's going to say up, yeah. it's going to happen there. Still now one of them is probably going to peel off. Uh, neither of them peeling off. I'm not exactly sure what their strat is right now. That is yeah. wide open for the taking. And they just let their home get decapped. I don't think the um, all Ament is going to be able to get there. Will he be able to? Oh, oh gets the mindset off there. That was a there. good play. That was a good play by all Ament. Was able to get there in time. They got the decap on the on the far node, and there's a was a stalemate going on at blue team's home node. Back in, going in for it. Does get hit there. We are seeing both sides decapped right now. We're going to see Temple go in favor of that blue point. team, as red team didn't have anyone there contest. Take a look Beyond. at the one v one between Jax and Aerodynamic. That's going to go on for quite some time. Over at the mid, though, the decap coming out from Beyond. Yeah, that that was a really clutch uh, decap from Beyond. That might be just just what they need. Beyond looking like he's rotating into far or into. Uh, what is that? Hen or uh, temple? Well, to, to his far node. Um, yeah, over at Lament, the temple. That's like gonna be a two v one. Yeah, Lamet getting pressured out of that fight. Might want to try resetting before going back in. The buff is still uncapped, and Tomahawk's probably gonna try to burst him right now. Ferocity. I didn't have Bassy up, so he just got in stealth. Oh, and the burst coming out from Lamet. And beyond coming Tomahawk in the Tomahawk about to be taken into the down state. There's a Vampirins for himself. Will he be able to stay alive? Oh! Tries to use that Shadow Step. Really doesn't do a whole lot with it. We have Mackin going in for the res. I'm not so sure it's going to be enough. There's oh, a MOA coming out there. That's the pretty solid waited. MOA. Didn't even go for the stomp. Just waited for that MOA. And that was actually good timing on him. 
That was a pretty good, you know, but despite that, no one still well, getting that buff. Silmus buff. Yeah, no, he was mowing. I, I feel like you probably should have. I mean, we're going to see Red Team, team cap that temple. We're going to see Red Team cap the altar. That's going to be a two cap Did for them. And while, I mean, mid, that top buff still being contested. We've got both Trank and Silmus up once again in about a minute and 15 seconds. I don't foresee mid. Actually, back in. Will he be able to get it? No. I, yeah, I, I didn't think so. I mean, all, what they really need to do right now is just keep a hold of their two points and just keep poking at the top of so that blue team can't get it. That's that's what they should be doing right now. And Lament is kind of doing that right now. Beyond yeah, definitely. Oh, there's the Socks. Game. Socks actually no. taken out by Swift Tomahawk, who is sticking on top of him. Taking a look at Beyond. He's going to get the decap over at the oh, temple. No, that's going to be big as oh, Swift Tomahawk trying to get it as well. came just too late, and they got the res on Socks. That's huge. And, uh, Swift, that, that is uh, pretty big because now they can hold on to the midpoint. There was no way I don't think Jax could have 1v2 for very long in mid. Uh, yeah, let Beyond alone help the cap. So, I mean, this is, There's this the is top a one up, cap, though. One cap again. Was just taken like out that. by Slyn. Uh, Slyn has so ball. many you know, blocks and whatnot, especially with that focus. Yeah. And, and is uh, at three, I mean, there's, he could, if anybody's going to get it, it would definitely be him. And he was able to get it for his team. They're holding on to a two cap just because of that oh. alter node. We've got Trank up in about 20 seconds, though, as well as it's another Silver Tremble is just getting destroyed in this 1v1. Like, first of all, it's a point he doesn't own, and he's he's getting rocked. Like, he needs to get out of here right now. He, he drops the FGS trying to get to mid. And, I mean, Red Team has that, has that, uh, has that top up, and Blue Team's got two people on timer. Somebody just spawned. This is not looking good for Red. Or yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, we're going to see a... There's the Trank buff. No appeared. one down underneath for the, either team. Here comes Aerodynamic. He's going to take the fall damage. It looks like they didn't Did have a whole lot that? of communication because two members went for that. Point. And Beyond is going to be able to get this top buff, but Did it doesn't really that? matter because they Red don't hold anything. We're going to see... Point. It looks like Tremble's going for the full cap over the temple. That's going to be... You know, that's going to be an even 2-2 two, two cap for both these teams. There yeah. is the triple cap coming out at the Trank buff. That is really going to just mitigate, you know, how long it takes for Trembles to get that cap oh, over that the Oh, that portal coming out uh, gets them to mid quicker, and they're going to maybe get that res. They got the res up. Somebody needs to go and watch their home point so they don't get decapped. They ha they do have a 2 cap right now. Uh, someone's capping uh, Someone's capping blue far for, for Blue, or their home node. And they're just red team is just wiping up mid right now. This is they're in yeah. a, like a very favorable position right now. I know blue team has that uh, top off, and actually blue just got the decap because Lament uh, was able to sneak that decap on, on uh, on his far node. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, good pickup pick by Lament. Knowing that mid fight was definitely lost. That was good rotation coming out though. Uh, Aerodynamic is going to get that FGS rotation coming out for himself. Now Lament is actually. It has to piece out. I, don't, I think that was a good move because he was going to be in a 2v1 situation against an Ellie and Bear there. Uh, he, I think, I'm not so sure if he knew Bear was coming, but Bear was definitely in the area for that. We have a 1v1 going on between these guys, but still, mid fight is pretty big uh, going on right here. The red team has point, but they really haven't cleaned everything up. Yeah, I mean, they just got that strong 2 cap, and Arrow is going to stall far forever. Actually, it looks like Lament and, and Beyond are grouping up. They're probably going to try to gank him. They both stealth up. Or at least Lament Bear up. with the time warp press at the midpoint. Is it going to be enough? Does get it just barely. Oh my god. No pun on the barely uh, <laughs> right there, but he does get oh, it and spikes that. down that was Jax. So huge. Oh man, that was crazy. Some plays coming out for barely. That build proving me wrong a little bit in this uh, NAG. I don't know about an ESL, but it's proving me wrong right now. Yeah, and, and they're just totally oh. dominating this Soak team right now. Soak 2.0. He, he dropped the portal. He dropped the portal for Arrow. But uh, Arrow didn't make it to it. Uh, he's trying to get that res, even though he's outside. It just didn't have anything up, so he decides to portal out. And yeah, which, now the an blue team is just really confined to this blue midpoint right now. Or excuse me, this point. temple point right uh, Altar, man, I got all of them wrong. <laughs> Altar over there. They're looking to make a push over to Temple. As Beyond is going to stealth up, make a push for it. Bear really not going to go for that. We do have Stillness up in about 35 seconds, but I'm afraid it's going to be game over by yeah, that time. I think, I think it's looking like game over right now. They're, I think Red really just needs to bail out and watch their two points. Beyond just got the decap at... At uh, Temple? Yeah, he has a 2-cap yeah. at Temple. He's probably not going to be able to 1v1 arrow. Yeah, he just dips out. So they're still going to have a 2-cap uh, in, in a few I mean, seconds. mid was decapped. We are mid actually going to see stillness. Okay, it will come up, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, th we have seen some incredible, and I mean incredible comebacks on this map from teams in AG. I mean, we've seen a team at 490 against a team with like 250 come back into the game because of Trank wow. stillness buff. And I, I don't want to say it's going to happen just because they have an Ellie now sitting on that altar note or Temple. I don't, I don't see it happening, but, yeah. you know. They could win with a one cap pretty yeah, much. Unless, if, they, if, they, if they just watch the boss, they could win with a one cap right now. Yeah, I think this is pretty much game over. As long as their Ellie just sits on that, as long as Arrow sits on that point, they'll be fine. And they're actually chasing in beyond right now, and they might actually be able to take him out, possibly.
He's in that he's in that refuge right now. He's gonna be able to get out, no problem. But I mean, it's it's a desperation move. Like they have to get this decap, so they're all just gonna they're all gonna rush temple right yeah, now. Yeah, Tremble's now running for his life. Trembling Beyond underneath the pressure ham. of this red team right gonna now. Gonna die in that vamp. Yeah, he gets taken down. He had Shadow Step up, but I guess he just didn't see all those burn stacks on him. Yeah, that's um, definitely gonna be game number one going good. in favor. It's Swift Tomahawk. The adding, you know, the touches there with that stunless buff. That is gonna be game number just one like going that, in favor of GGWP. Looking really strong. A huge victory for them in that game number one. Yeah, I have to say that's kind of what I was expecting. Like, the fact that Arrow completely 1v1 the other Ellie and just like, that that's a really scary presence. I mean, I, there's that that's really scary to have to fight. And like Barely was pulling off a lot of plays. Just the burst was so there for Red. And if they continue that, they're going to win this no problem. Yeah, definitely. So if they're able to take force, they are going to be crowned your victors of the AG number 32. 32 weeks. Man, that is a long time. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> you know this blue team, they can, they had some hope in that game. They definitely did. They had some nice plays, but, you know, despite I feel having the better team comp, I just feel like maybe the experience with one another isn't there. I know they've got a couple subs. Like I said earlier, Beyond is definitely a sub of this team who I just came into it after uh, one of their guys DC'd. And I think, honestly, that might have been for the better. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I definitely think blue has the potential to come back and win this next match. Um, I mean, Temple with the buffs, it's kind of... its I feel like it's going to be a little bit different on this map because Temple is kind of confusing for everyone. Like, I, I barely even play on Temple. Like, <laughs> ESL never makes us play on Temple, so... Yeah, it kind of messes you up with those names of Alter and, uh, Alter and Temple. <laughs> yeah, like, it's sometimes just... I just have to say far or home. Like I just don't even I just don't even know the names of those points. I barely play on that map. But uh this map I'm I'm kinda curious to see how this goes. Yeah, I, I think if we see some good plays from Lament, especially some portal plays that I don't really, I don't really think we saw many of them coming out from him. That could definitely be what's gonna be the game changer for them, but I don't see any build changes from any of these guys. So I'm gonna be sticking with the same stuff. I'm still putting yeah. my money on red, though. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on red. I think that it's important to realize that Lament has that Moa, and they they might be able to capitalize off of first mid fight. So if they, but then again, they, the other team has uh, has a uh, time warp, and we saw um I believe it was barely got spiked right at the start, but he got insta res. Like it wasn't soon. all their burst was pretty much negated by that instant res. So, I mean, if they can do that again, but just have a little bit more cleave, I think we'll see something different. Yeah, definitely so. Game number two underway. If Red Team takes this, they will be crowned your victors here. I think we're going to be opening splits, though. Looks like we've got Seize both theirs. teams going to be crossing, possibly looking to play some three-point strats. We've seen that time after time. Aerodynamic barely and Swift Tomahawk going over that hinge point. Looks like they're not actually going to go for the keep here as we see Matkin sitting around waiting for crossers. He's going to make his way over to that hinge node and forcing two members. You know, this is going to be forcing a 4v2 as soon as they get them over there. Uh, Beyond B and Lament going for the 2v1 over at the hinge. What do you think of the split coming out from Red? I mean, I think, that, I think that Blue was literally trying to uh, hunt the like Red Team's that. burst. Blue and it kind of wasted a little bit of time point. looming there. I mean, it's going to force Red Team's uh, Guardian to peace out of their home, but they should be able to get a kill on far, hopefully. I mean, it's I mean, look, Slint actually takes him down. Slint takes down wow. Lamette in the 1v2 for the burger. Is he going to take is down get the beyond B2? B2? Oh, oh my no goodness. Shows. The Red burn guard is going to prevail. Maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, I don't think uh, go for that cleave. He's, oh, uh, man. That was... That he was. He have a third member coming to him right now, so he needs to get out was, of there right I'm now. Just so, I'm, in, I'm just impressed. That I'm he impressed actually, too. he actually took that. I actually got a member down, and you know, let them hold on to that cap. Now they're going to be able to go to the midpoint. I think that was a bit of a slow rotation, as especially with. Oh, okay, they're able to take down stock there. That was a pretty good pickup. They get to decap at the midpoint, still holding on to that cap. There's the decap coming out for red, uh, for the blue team. Excuse me. That was just a like, crazy. This is, this is a great situation for red. Like, they got Arrow, like, I don't think anybody on their team, or any of the Ellie's can 1v1 Arrow, so he's just gonna be there all game, probably. And Blue Red looking like they're the mopping up point. mid. And, yep. yeah, but they got respawns over this hinge, and they're, nice rotation from the midpoint, gonna be over here just in time. 
uh, for the Guardian. Stocks coming off a respawn. We'll have to see. He's going to plus his 5, make it a 2v2. But Jax is already pretty low. Nice fire grab. Going to land it, take a chunk of his health out. But he should be okay for the time being. Obviously, BBL is able to stay alive for quite some time. Nice burst from Bear. But that 2 cap coming off the red team. Going to allow them to get an early lead. Yeah, there's going to be that 3v2 coming out from red team on mid. Not a good situation for, for blue. They, they probably should peace out of here and try to get their home. Um, yeah, it looks like they're both getting just pressured out. I think Beyond is, yeah, Beyond is going to maybe get a decap if you can. Nah, he's decided to go back to his home and plus that. Probably a good, probably a good idea um, to secure their home first. They they actually have mine too, so if they if they just secure that. Oh, looking like Mac. It looks like Mac is actually going to get that decap right now. So once again, another favorable favorable just situation like for Red. And they're just going to get that full cap point. and play mid again. I think the arrow needs to bounce out of far though. Yeah, he he should leave. He should leave far, and they should regroup mid. Barely yeah, he's well, looking really low right now. He's backside. Oh, he gets taken down by Beyond. Down, That's yeah. pretty good pickup. Lament actually pretty low. They're actually looking to make a good pitch in the midpoint as Slin. I mean, we saw him. We, there's the portal coming out there. The blue team going to be sending in a heap of players to mid. Red team wins a capture point. Yeah, uh, Beyond kind of wasted a little bit of time cleaving out barely where he could have been in the team fight. Just probably dropped the poison on him and let him bleed. But uh, coming back in, there's still a man up. And looking like a 5v4 right now. Swift is really low right now. Yeah, Swift. Able to stay alive for a little bit. He needs some support from the rest of his team. Got, there's the Shadow Refuge taken huge. down, though. Beyond putting out the cleave. Is the res going to come out from Mackin? Yes, res. it looks like him and Slyn able to get that one out. Now Slyn's under a lot of pressure. And Swift is trying oh, to jump on the Look at the Condies. So many Condies coming out onto Slyn. I believe he had like eight or nine stacks of burns onto himself. Uh, they do take down stocks, though. Can he get the symbol off in time? Yeah, he gets the symbol off. This might be a res. They're resing. And they, yeah, they got this the This is just a map. Wow. Look at all this stuff on the ground right now. <laughs> who's fire? Who's <laughs> reading? I don't even understand. At its finest. That was just crazy right there. So much stuff. Uh, you know, we've got. Look at the wipe, though. Wipe, though. This blue team basically wiped. Four yeah. man wipe with Beyond barely getting out. He's actually going to get a decap. Uh, we got see the Arrow. Decap too, but it's actually better for Arrow to get the decap because as soon as they send someone, Beyond's going to peace out. And I think barely just portal. Beyond, yeah, yeah, barely just portal to his home, and it's gonna force. Well, at least he's fighting with Beyond right now. He's gonna get plus. Did you see and that? Beyond's Red probably gonna wanna get out of there ASAP. Point. They're gonna get that two cap, and they're gonna have a D cap. Really strong. That wipe was just really unfortunate for for Blue. Looks like they're sending Jax to come to to uh Red team to mine, but I think that barely could actually one v one this. I mean, so I don't know if this is a good idea. Lament coming off a respawn. This is going to be in favor of the blue team over here at the hinge. But that two cap still favoring the red team. Starting to build up to that 100 point lead that, you know, just kind of shows how dominant you've been at the early stages of this game. Almost five minutes into it. Looks like Matt game looks like he might be peeling out. But that's not bad for them to just kind of, I mean, double DDL. They can sit over there as long as they want. Support each other. Rotate in and off the point. That's kind of what used to make double cell DDL. It kind of really blue potent. You can just rotate point. in and off the point and hold off 2v3s for a long time. Yeah, and it looks like it looks like uh, barely just got pressured out of its home because he got plus one. Good thing he got out of there. Now they can both uh, stay at mid, and they wiped them at far. So this is just another good situation. They're just blue team is just not winning these fights. They, looks like they're gonna get the res on Lament though. I think he self res actually. And Stalks just looking so low, and Lament drops a portal at his home. Looks like he's coming to mid, and maybe they can get something going here. If they get a kill here. They could get something going. They could actually portal back to their home and secure a two cap. Oh, there's the a two cap coming out there. No one for the red team on that midpoint, but Jack's actually taken into the down state. Slin, there's a shadow refuge coming out there for Beyond B. Able to get that res. Pretty good res for them. They really needed that. One cap in each team's favor, but a 100 point lead for GGWP. Red Blue team, they need to win a fight here. Otherwise, this is quickly going to go in favor of Red. Yeah, Blue team is just struggling these team fights. Like, they need to win a big mid, mid, uh, team fight right now. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, team fights really haven't been working for him. Maybe uh, skirmishes, three point play yeah, is kind of the way to go. Yeah, they could go for skirmishes. That is true. That flame, oh my god, purging flame is just tearing apart blue. Oh, Lament beyond. literally just got 100 yeah. 0 because he got knocked through that? it. And he just, he just ends the dive with the burn. Burning is a great mechanic. <laughs> Such counterplay to that. Instance. Such counterplay. <laughs> but taking a look at what's going I mean, Stocks running off the midpoint. He hasn't really died in a while, but yeah, he's just been, after these fights, he's been able to rotate off the points. But being pursued here by Swift, forced to use RF. Bear going to plus him as well. It looks like uh, moving over to, the, I mean, they know they have respawns. They have the mine point. They can just force 
they really need a big regroup here, and especially with stocks going down, they're going to be staggered respawns. And yeah, they're, they're going to be, be looking staggered. good. They might even want to just regroup in their spawn. And if Jax is taken down, that's going to be even worse for them. Yeah, this is not looking good. Jax is going to be in a 2v3 situation. He's beyond coming off a respawn, seeing what he can do. He's just going to he shut a step blink back. Out right now, he's in, he's in huge trouble if he doesn't blink out. He actually doesn't blink to the Z-axis, but... I mean, he's just trying his best to stay alive, and he's doing all right, but... He doesn't even need to sit down, on the probably. point, though. I'm confused why he is, because they don't own the cap. He they just don't kept own going cap, back on uh, it. I guess there's a little bit of an experience coming in there, but his updraft coming up in a second. Get, they get aerodynamic down there, the cleave coming down from Jax. That burn is really going to... Aerodynamic actually down, taken down. This... There's the res with Bear bringing out that time warp. Pretty good res yeah, on his Yeah, that time warp. That slow is just so deadly. And uh, I mean, wow, that is... two members, three members drop oh. in blue. Oh. I think this might be at a point of no return. Like they, they, they just can't win these fights, and they just got a, they just got obliterated on Henge. Yeah, this beyond, might be game. beyond trying to do what he can, go and get some decaps maybe, but ultimately red team just dominating from the, you know, beginning and no remorse on there. And beyond might get a decap at yeah, mid. Looking like he's gonna get the decap at mid. Should be able to get that. Kind of poor awareness <sighs> on the red team, but they're just gonna go ahead and get cheaped in as Bear and Swift Tomahawk going for that easy kill. 25 points extra, all they need to do is hold on to Hench. They are gonna get 3v1 at Hench. They gotta make their way back fast before Aerodynamic gets blown up. Yeah, and they have to make sure they don't drop that decap, or they don't drop that cap, because the pressure on him, oh, the pressure on him while they're getting the boss could be enough to, to get that decap. Oh! It almost is, they're probably gonna get him down. They get Aero down. Dude, that was the portal though. Up, but the Red portal coming out. That was actually really good by barely leaving a portal there, just in case that happened, so they could get boss without having to worry. And I mean, they did. They, they got the full cap on mid, so they can piece out of here right now. They got that boss kill. All they want to do is just bunker now. They, there's really no other way just like that, that blue, team that blue takes can win if they just. If Red and team especially just with Trembles just sitting at the mine point, it's like you gotta kind of give it up right now. Get over to the mid because this is your last chance. Jack's taken into the down state. Beyond ports back knows that's a lost fight. Yeah, they're gonna hold on to over. a two cap, try and you know get a little bit more points in their favor, but oh, beyond absolutely obliterated there by Bear. Uh, but who is Bear is actually about to be taken down as well. 100 health, he's actually taken in the down state. Uh, the there's the Shadow Refuge. Nice, nice Refuge. They're, they're really in sync. Like, him and Swift are, are doing really well together. Yeah. They're, actually, all of Red is just really on top of resing. It's it's actually pretty impressive. And I think that's... As long as they bunker this, it's pretty much the game. Swift Tomahawk about to be taken down, but, you know, Aerodynamic got all three cantrips. That is oh, definitely Oh, barely game. getting taken down by Beyond, though. If they get some knockbacks I mean, if this were the point, 30 seconds earlier, they might have had a, a, a <laughs> last chance, but Aerodynamic not going to die. And even if he does, I mean, he's got this point. He should be able yeah. to hold long enough, yeah. Yes. So that is going to be game number two going in favor of Good Guys Win Points. Going to be taking home the grand prize, 10,000 gems as a team. 4,000 gems going in favor of Soak 2.0, and all top eight teams going to be taking home one mini Lummer per player. What are your thoughts on that last match? Dominant. That was that was dominant by Red. Like, I I uh, I liked I liked the game. Uh, I thought that Blue actually put up a pretty good fight, but they just could not win those team fights. And if and if they knew that, they should have probably played around it, try to maybe play off portal a little bit more, or just try to fight skirmishes because they were getting they were getting messed up in those team fights. Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt you really quick. Uh, get this raffle underway. If you guys are interested in getting a skin, who's act it's actually being donated to me by uh, Derno. He actually played in the tournament. Um, he is actually going to be letting you pick any Dream Thistle skin of your choice, and he will be donating that to you guys uh, for the giveaway tonight. Go ahead and hit or type exclamation point raffle into the Twitch chat. You must be following the channel. If you're not and you're drawn, you will not win the giveaway. So with that being said, go ahead and finish your uh, statement there as we get that underway. Or are you done talking about that last match? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was about okay. it. Okay. All right, well, uh, a few closing announcements before we head off here. Uh, if you guys have, obviously, everyone has a YouTube account, go ahead and sub to mine underneath the Twitch channel. I'd really appreciate that, trying to get an actual YouTube URL as soon as I hit 500 subs. Um, as I said earlier, obviously, we got skin get giveaway going on. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter, on Twitter, excuse me, at, at StormGW2. Uh, if you haven't 
playing an AG tournament and you would like to as a free agent or a team, you can head on over to battlefy.com slash academy hyphen gaming. You can find that URL over there. Um, for those of you who don't know about the Academy Gaming website, we write weekly articles up above me. It's academygamingnet.com. Had a nice one about the WTS uh, before it, everything you needed to know on the WTS Cologne, as it was called. Uh, Arena Night really liked that one. So check that out if you guys haven't. Obviously, it's past WTS, but got some good feedback on that one. Um, other than that, don't really have a whole lot else to say. Uh, I guess you will see me and Hurix. No longer going to be seeing Ru uh, Randall Rukiel. Uh, it's going to be me and Hurex at the ESL Monthly uh, in Burbank, California this Wednesday evening for that matchup. Hopefully, we're, ha we're looking for eight teams. We really are looking forward to that tournament. should be good, especially with the Abjured coming off that huge victory at WTS, seeing if anyone on NA can combat with them. Uh, but other than that, I think that's at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday for that ESL tournament. Really looking forward to that one. Any last things from you? Uh, I just want to wrap up by saying that I've actually never shoutcasted before, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, you'll invite me back sometime. Yeah, and it was good. good. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and shout outs to uh, shout outs to Yura, shout outs to <laughs> that's the Vane, shout outs to Edison, and shout outs to Mina. <laughs> well, I I enjoyed it. It was uh, Ganyan knows how bad his shoutcasting was. So, you know, you can't get any worse than, than that. <laughs> yeah, I hope he actually wanted to, he actually stopped like, like he actually stopped mid game because he didn't want to uh, embarrass himself anymore. Shout out to Genyan. Shout out to Genyan for being a homie. Definitely so. Uh, again, guys, raffle exclamation point raffle into Twitch chat to get entered that. All you need to do it once. We'll do that here in just a minute. I'm just trying to think if I'm forgetting anything else. Um, I don't I don't really think so. I, okay, I guess I wanted to say like I said, if you have Twitter, follow me at StormGW2. I will, as always, I, last time I went to the ESL Studios, I took a couple pictures. It's a really cool place, so uh, definitely check that out on my Twitter on Wednesday if you guys are interested in seeing what the ESL Studios look like. It's pretty cool. Um, really awesome place. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and draw the raffle here before we head out. Looks like our winner was Naren Ha. Naren Ha with two A's at the end. If you are a Naren Ha, you can go ahead and PM me on Twitch. Um, we'll go ahead and let you pick whatever Dream Thistle skin you want to win. Want to uh, have, rather. Uh, you can send me a message through Twitch. If you have my account name, feel free to do that, but I prefer the message on Twitch. Uh, so, other than that, thank you all for tuning in. That's going to be it for me and Zeromas tonight, and hope to see you on Wednesday for the ESL Monthly. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll probably be there. <laughs> Hopefully. Take it easy, guys. See you guys.
to the